Yo, 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 what is up everyone? OG over here from Player Essence. Welcome. We've got Player Essence Cross Nintendo or PE Cross Nintendo for short. We've, man, my phone, that always happens, man. As soon as I start something, my phone goes off. Anyway, what's up everyone? OG over here from Player Essence. Welcome to the PE Cross Nintendo. Um, we've got a lot of great information to go over. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. I want to kind of shape the show a little bit differently. This is going to be different from my discussions that I do or debates that I do. Don't worry, we're going to still get those. So I'm going to try to organize something either for tomorrow or later tonight. But we should have another show at some point this weekend if I can get it organized. Because I know some of you guys do like the discussions that I have with like other people I've brought on. Like Coloco, um, I want to bring on Mel, uh, McKay, Castle. Nova. We're going to have more guys come on to the podcast as well, but I wanted to make that a whole separate thing and then Player Essence Cross Nintendo, kind of more fan interaction with articles as well. Um, just when you have a bunch of people on the podcast with you, it's tough to also interact with the fans as well. So I wanted to actually do more content for you guys than less, and that's kind of what you're seeing pretty much throughout my channel. You're seeing more videos instead of less videos. You're seeing four videos a day plus live streams most of the days for the most part um, instead of less videos and then like maybe like a couple live streams. So I want to do more for you guys than less. Um, another thing that I also wanted to talk about before we get into the articles here is that YouTube also rolled out a whole new sponsor program as well. And I definitely want to make sure that we drive home as far as me doing that live content. So if you're interested in sponsoring Player Essence, it pretty much works just like Twitch to where it's the same price as Twitch and like you get little emotes and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, you're more than welcome to do that if you want to. And I guess there's like a little, once I get two sponsors, there's like a little emote that comes up. Um, like a little like head, I'll have like a headband emote. So whenever I say give the headbands, whoever's on the emote, whoever has those emotes can, uh, can definitely do that. So check that out if you're interested in sponsoring Player Essence. Um, I think it's pretty cool that they're trying to be like Twitch a little bit more, considering Twitch is kind of hard to get a spot, like to get partnered with them. So I think that's pretty cool as well. And I'm also going to be driving a lot of gameplay home. So if you do become a sponsor, like if you want to recommend games that I play for the night, then definitely you can do so along with the Patreon members as well. But some people really hate Patreon um, and told me like, I don't want to do Patreon, do a sponsorship. So that's the reason why I'm rolling out a sponsorship program as well, man. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, obviously, if you guys have questions, please hold on to them, write them down. I'll definitely get to those. But um, I want to let people file in just a little bit um, into the program here. I see people coming in right now. Um, and it's going to be pretty cool, man. I think we're going to have a pretty good show. But I will say first and foremost, Winter Horizon, if you're here to just be stupid and disrupt the chat, dude, go somewhere else. Like, <laughs> I'm going to time you out if you're here just to disrupt the chat because I know what you do when you go into other live streams. I'm going to time you out if you're here to disrupt the chat. I really don't I really don't feel like playing with you today, man. I don't have time for your little kid games because that's what you are, you're a little kid, and you act like one. So, look, dude, <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but if you're here to disrupt the chat, you're going to get timed out the first time, and then after that, you're probably just going to get banned. So... Just be careful, dude. Anyway, okay, let's go ahead and um, get into it here. Thanks to everyone who's coming out. I see some people that are already filing in. Let me go ahead and give some shout outs. We're going to start off the show every single time we do one of these live shows. We're going to start off with the, um, the shout outs, the ninja that joined while we were asleep, okay? And while the ninja were asleep, um, we're going to go ahead and give some shout outs to them. So over the past Six hours. We have had multiple new ninja join the fray. So let's go ahead and get into those names here. So shout outs to Nicole Shereel, Cameron, Cameron V, Joe Martino, Ellis, Maxak, Mac, Maxkill, Macaskill, Muhammad Laman, Nitro does gameplay, um, Samaria, Naomi, Movie HD for you, Mistra, Triz TV. Cole 403 shout outs to all of you guys welcome all of welcome all of you guys all of you new ninja to the team please everyone in the chat make them feel welcome if they're here and headbands for everyone there so, so thank you guys so much and pretty much every single live stream we will start off with all the people who subscribe while while the while the village was asleep okay so awesome man good stuff there good stuff uh, should you chat on Twitch or YouTube um, there's more people on YouTube so if you want to go on YouTube go on YouTube man. Um, definitely, definitely go on, go on YouTube. Um, so yeah, 
So let's go ahead and get into this here. So I, I think you guys all want to talk about the whole claims versus... I see a lot of people talking about the claims versus strikes and Nintendo banning live streaming um, and all that stuff. So let's talk about this because I think out of anyone here, I think on YouTube, I probably have one of the best grasps of this outside of like maybe even like, let's say... Well, I mean, maybe Angry Joe, I'm not sure. There's been other people that have talked about this, but I have a pretty good grasp on it because I used to do quite a bit of Sony content. I used to do quite a bit of Microsoft content. My channel, as far as the focus, has changed over the years. So let's talk about it a little bit because a lot of people are saying that Nintendo is banning live stream and, um, and all that with their Nintendo's creators program and you, and you, can't, you can't live stream at all. And, and I'll definitely get the subscriptions, guys. Don't worry about that. Um, and Nintendo's banning it. So let's talk about this a little bit. So... The first and foremost, Nintendo has a creator's program to where you can gain revenue from their video games. And initially, this was made for Let's Plays. Live streaming kind of came in afterwards. Now, here's the thing. Nintendo is saying, if you want to be part of the creator's program, as far as your whole channel, you cannot... Um, you cannot live stream anymore. We're not going to be accepting live streams. You cannot live stream anymore if you want to be part of our creator's program. Now, if you still want to make money off of the videos that you do, like Let's Plays, which this whole program was originally created for, you are still able to do that. You can keep your whole channel there, which most people don't have their whole channel there. That means your channel has to be completely dedicated to Nintendo content for every single video. And I would say that like the, the like large majority of YouTube is not like a whole channel thing. You can opt to do individual videos as well. And uh, when you submit those individual videos, you can still make money off that. Nintendo is just saying, we're not going to accepting live streaming anymore. Now, here's the thing, guys. Do I know why Nintendo is doing this as far as live streaming goes? Yes, I do know why. Am I willing to say the exact reason why to you guys right at this point? No, I'm not. But do I know? Yes. Do I know who's responsible? Absolutely. Do I know the group of people that are responsible? Absolutely. Are those same group of people acting stupid and acting like it's not them who did, who made Nintendo overcorrect? Absolutely. These people are doing stupid things on live streaming, attaching their name to Nintendo, and then sitting here and acting like, well, what do we do? Why did Nintendo ban live streaming when they do stupid things? And, you know, on Twitter... Um, I said this. I said big YouTubers. It was random. It was a couple weeks ago. Some of you guys who follow me, you guys might know. But I was like, these, these big YouTubers are idiots. They're ruining things for the rest of us. I said that on Twitter. And people were like, oh my gosh, what happened now? And this was after the whole PewDiePie incident, okay? This was after the whole PewDiePie incident. So I learned some information. And then all of a sudden, this came out with whole Nintendo banning live streaming completely. Um, but I will say this. Nintendo does not want to deal with the randomness of live streaming. People say things, it's live content, they have Nintendo's name attached to these things, and then people say things in those streams, whether, and I'm not talking about PewDiePie, okay, I'm talking about other people, um, and big YouTubers, and Nintendo sees that, these videos come in through their creators program, or uh, filtered through them, and Nintendo's like, skip it, we don't want to deal with live streaming anymore. That's essentially what happened from what I'm being told. Now, I could be wrong, I guess, right? This is not fact. I'm just giving you guys some information. I'm not going to reveal any names, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see some of the content that's coming out there, some of the language that's being used, um, people saying all sorts of stuff, racial slurs, um, calling people this and that in live streams, then submitting it to Nintendo's creator program as if that's, as if that's a smart thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, it's, and it's not. So um, that's the one thing. Now, are they banning live streaming outright? Absolutely not. You can still live stream all you want to. Um, you can live stream. It shouldn't, it shouldn't affect anyone live streaming at all, okay? Um, it shouldn't affect anyone live streaming at all. And I'll definitely get to that. Yo, shout outs to Mark Bryant for the sponsor as well. Yo, dude, you didn't have to do that. You're already on Patreon, man. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that. And we have some new subscribers as well. So I'll get to that in just a bit. Let me finish my first topic. So you can still live stream all you want. And I saw people saying, oh, Nintendo's banning live streaming. Absolutely not. This will not affect my channel one bit, and it, it shouldn't, and it shouldn't affect most people's channels because you should have known from going on YouTube that streaming Nintendo games should not be your main source of revenue. And that's the biggest thing that people are talking about here, revenue. It's, it's all about the money, right? I knew this from the very beginning, so I did not make my channel into um, a live streaming channel for revenue. That's a stupid thing to do. Now, if you want to do it for Microsoft and Sony, that's probably a better idea. But for Nintendo, that's a dumb thing to do because Nintendo's been claiming videos from the very beginning they've been claiming videos. Um, so anyone who decided that they're going to like, oh, I'm going to turn my channel into a live streaming Nintendo channel and collect money off of it, 
That's not a smart thing to do because you're going to be going through so many copyright claims and all that. I turned my channel into something to where I can talk about the news and use the content that Nintendo says is good for YouTube. And whenever Nintendo, uh, whenever Nintendo decides to live stream or whenever I decide to live stream Nintendo games, that's okay. I can do other things in order to make revenue off that. Uh, we have sponsors, we have Patreon. There's other things that you can do to incentivize, uh, like to help you with live streaming. So for me, I never submitted my videos anyway uh, for live streaming, okay? Like, I never did that anyway for live streaming. Um, so some people are telling me, oh, are you know, are you going to live stream anymore? Like, why is Nintendo banning it? And I'm pretty much telling you guys exactly um, exactly what's going on there um, with, with that. So, yes, it sucks that the creator program, if you're someone who's streaming, you know, you can no longer submit your streams for revenue. But I can almost guarantee you that nearly nobody is like a whole channel dedicated to Nintendo as far as the creators program, because Nintendo takes 30% of your revenue. You can get better deals with other uh, media companies and live streaming isn't that valuable in terms of revenue wise. I mean, for most people, maybe for some, you know, it is, but for most people, it's not that valuable in terms of Nintendo live streaming Nintendo games. I mean, most people don't even watch Nintendo games on Twitch, right? Or on, I mean, on YouTube, you see many other games that get way bigger numbers because most Nintendo fans just like to play their game and not be spoiled. Um, buy it for the most part unless it's like awesome games done quick or something special like that so that's kind of the situation there and it's going to affect a very small amount of people definitely i wish that nintendo just didn't do it at all i wish they didn't care but like i said man you have a lot of dumb people um i wouldn't call them dumb people you have a lot of people that are doing dumb things on live streaming and then are tagging nintendo or putting these stupid videos in the creators program nintendo is going through these videos like are you serious you really submitted this to me or you really submitted this to us with this type of language with this type of stuff and you're attaching our ip to that we're good you know and that's kind of what happens when people do dumb things when people use racial slurs when people stream things they shouldn't be streaming this is the type of overcorrectness that you get from an uptight company like nintendo that's already really uptight about their image and their ip this is the type of stuff that they do so it's unfortunate and i really wish nintendo didn't do it but either way like i said it doesn't really affect my operations um it doesn't really affect what i'm doing um i use content that nintendo allows me to use for my videos um, and I'm going to continue live streaming and live streaming Nintendo games. It's not a big deal to me um, at all, but it sucks for those people who are going to be affected it by it. But no, Nintendo's not banning live streaming at all. And like I said, if you're on Twitch, this doesn't affect you at all. This is irrelevant to people on Twitch. You can live stream as much Nintendo content as you want because really it's only with the creators program. And even then, like it really barely affects anyone <laughs> to be honest it doesn't really affect anyone much because most people as far as nintendo channels i don't know anyone who makes all the revenue off of live streaming nintendo games like most people make revenue off of like news videos or um, let's plays or and things like that and those are all still allowed and, and good whether you're going through nintendo or not for the creators program so so yeah man um so yeah um it's all good there so um we'll get to we'll get to questions on that guys um and if you guys have any questions as far as that goes, let me know at the end. So hold on to your question. Um, so yeah, man. So shout outs to, uh, we have a couple of subscribers. Oh, one new subscriber, Moss, Moss Z. Shout outs to Moss Z in the chat. Please everyone give him some love. Shout outs, headbands for that man. Brand new ninja to the village. And shout outs to Mark Bryant for our first official sponsor of Player Essence. I've got to send you something, Mark. And Mark is, once again, he is a big, big, big help to the channel helps all a lot man he's almost a staff member at this point but he's just a really great user so thank you so much mark uh you are our official first sponsor of player essence and basically i think someone in the chat was asking what a sponsor was i'll repeat it because we have about 50 more people in here than we did at the beginning basically a sponsor is like um it's like the same thing as twitch right like twitch has the thing to where you can spend like five dollars a month and help out a content creator um, and get like emojis and things like that. And that's the same thing what YouTube is doing. It's called being sponsored. Um, it, we're on Twitch. I think it's called subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Um, well, on YouTube, it's called sponsored. Um, and once I have two sponsors, then you'll get your emoji headbands to where you can put headbands in the chat. So, uh, so yeah, man. Um, really cool. Thank you so much, Mark. I do appreciate that. First ever sponsor. Definitely have to give you another shout out in another video for being the first ever sponsor as well. Um, and you get those little Naruto bells as well. Um, I'll have better animations and stuff. I wanted to do a different one, but that's the only one that I can do within the time. So, so yeah, shout outs, man, shout outs. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the next article here. Um, 
we have a golf story so golf story takes the number one spot on the north american oh wait actually hold up <laughs> we have one more thing to talk about guys i put claims versus um strikes so one more thing i don't want to harp on this too much just because we've already been on this topic for about what um almost six seven minutes now but like people were talking about on twitter like oh what nintendo's doing is horrible um all this blah 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 but to be honest guys sony is sony does strikes and that's that's the biggest thing in many other companies but sony they're the only major Kanye manufacturer that I know, heck, major video game publisher or anything, really, um, that will put strikes on your channel. Sony puts strikes on multiple people's channels. Sony will block videos at times if it contains their music that they sign their artists to. Like, I got one of my Smash Brothers musics um, uh, blocked from them. But Sony, the, the difference between a claim and a strike, what Sony's done to my channel between what Nintendo's done, is that when you get a strike on your channel, that is far worse. It is three strikes and you are out. And yes, I will get a custom Toby emoji. Once we hit two on my next live stream, I will have a custom Toby emoji for you guys. But we have to hit two sponsors. Once we hit two, then we then people can actually start using the emojis. And I can upload more than one. Right now, I can only upload one. Once I get two sponsors, I can upload more than one. So right now, we just have headbands. Um, so... So yeah, strikes basically, they wreck your channel. If you get a strike on your channel, I wouldn't be doing this live stream right now. Like you can't live stream, I think for three to six months, somewhere in that time frame, you can't live stream at all. So not only when you get a strike on your channel, you can't live stream, but three strikes and you're out. Your channel is done. Kabash, dead. Like you are thrown in the river you know what I'm saying, with the cement blocks, your channel's done after three strikes, there's no coming back from that, and these strikes can be fraudulent or not, some of these strikes are fraudulent, like Sony put a 100% fraudulent strike on my channel, and that's the biggest difference, why I get so riled up if people are wondering between Sony and Nintendo, Sony's claimed my videos before, I've never made a video angry at Sony for claiming a video of mine. I've mentioned it, but I've never been so mad to where I make a rant video on Sony claiming my video because lots of companies claim videos. Rockstar's claiming their trailer videos. Um, lots of companies do that. It's not something that's uncommon. Sega's done it. Square Enix has done it. Many companies have done it. Not excusing it, but I'm just saying every company has done it before. Now, strikes are something completely different. Those are horrible. And like I said, when I got a strike... I was so furious that a major console manufacturer who I've spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on would put a strike on my channel, would honestly put a strike on my channel because that jeopardizes everything. You know what I'm saying? It's horrible. Nintendo on YouTube is that dude that never said that he was your friend, but he's your acquaintance. He might hang out with you. He might be cool with you, but he never said he was your friend. Never, ever, ever did he say he was your friend. He was just hanging out with you. Sony is that channel or is that company that claims to be your friend that is all good with you. Then the minute you do something that they might not like, even if it's their fault, they will stab you in the back and then blame you. That, that's what Sony is compared to Nintendo, okay? Sony looks like the good guy. But honestly, putting a strike on a channel is the, the, the scummiest thing that I have seen from a major console manufacturer in my life, like doing it on this YouTube. I have never seen a major console manufacturer put a strike on someone's channel after leaking something that leaked from their own employees, leaked the PS4 Slim, and Sony had the audacity to put a strike on my channel and many other channels then blame us. And then when IGN and GameSpot and other people talked about it, they didn't put strikes on their channel. So they only went after the mid-range guys. To me, that is scummy. That is childish. That is just the scummiest thing that I have seen from a company. Um, it, it's, it's so scummy. And that's the reason why I say Sony's worse. Because to me, that's, there's no excusing that. Like I said, I don't mind Sony claiming my videos. I'll take out the music. I'll do something different next time. Fine. You don't want me to use that music? Cool. You don't want me to use that clip, Nintendo? Cool. You don't want me to use that clip, Rockstar? Cool. I'll use something else. I'll use still shots. I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do to make my video. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where Sony's claimed something, and I'm just like, all right, okay. I'll use something else. But to put a strike, then to block your video, then to send you an email that it's your fault, 
This is the reason why I don't buy Sony products anymore. And this is the reason why I said Sony's worse than Nintendo and the comparison between them. That is just a, like, that, that is like a dastardly thing to do to a channel. And like I said, that's really scummy. So, so yeah, man. Um, it's not even about being greedy. It's not even about being greedy. I, I, I'm, I'm down with people protecting their IP. But like I said, Microsoft and Sony would never go like be that scummy because Sony leaked that picture themselves, okay? That, that picture of the PS4 Slim was leaked from a Sony employee or was leaked from someone who has access to a Sony employee. Um, so yeah, man. Um, you can reverse the clipboards and bypass claims. Most of the time, you can bypass the claims by just um, using different music. That's the thing, like, like if you're playing a Nintendo game, most of the time, just use your own custom music, you know, just use Fire Emblem music, you know, and you won't get any claims at all. <laughs> like, just use Fire Emblem music and you'll be good, dude. So, so yeah, man. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's basically it. That's the reason why that's the difference between claims versus strikes. Claims to me are, okay, whatever. Let me, what, what can I do to change it? You know what I'm saying? And if all else fails, just use still shots. Just use a blank still, like just use, like if, if Rockstar won't let you talk about Red Dead Redemption 2, just use the title, the, 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 the default logo screen, Red Dead Redemption 2, and just say what you have to say. Or play Red Dead Redemption 1 and just say, hey, we're talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to use their footage to talk about your thoughts on Red Dead Redemption 2. You know what I'm saying? It's because people are complaining about, oh, I can't monetize this trailer. It's like, okay, well, just... People want to hear your thoughts. They don't want to necessarily, they don't need to see the gameplay. And if they need to see the gameplay, then just use still shots. You know what I'm saying? And you probably won't get claimed, even with still shots. Just just use a couple still shots. You'll be fine. Use official screenshots released. You'll be fine. Just, just use those. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's all sorts of ways to get around claims. You know what I'm saying? But strikes... Strikes are BS, and then, like, they, they give them the whole amount of time, too, like, they get, like, a month to deal with it, or, or no, not a month, they get, like, a week or so to deal with it, man, so it's just, it, it, it's, it's horrible, man, it's horrible, man, <laughs> it's horrible, I don't think Mark can show the emoji yet at this point, I'm not 100% sure if Mark can use it, I think, um, I think you need, I need to have two sponsors before emojis can go, so if we get one more sponsor, um, I think emojis will be good to go. I, I think I'm not 100% sure. I'm still figuring it out. But like I said, I'm kind of taking things a little bit different with live streaming. I'm going to be pushing a lot more content. People who are also sponsors will be able to pick games as far as vote on games that I'll be playing single player games that I'll be playing for for the week because I'm going to start doing a lot more live streaming as well, man. So awesome stuff there, Mike, uh, Mark, Mark. Uh, thank you so much for um, the subscription as well. So let's go ahead and let's get into uh, the golf story. So golf story has like, seriously, this is a fast rise, guys, because Golf Story just came out on the eShop, I think this week, um, it just came out, and it's already number one on the eShop, Golf Story takes the number one spot on the North American Switch eShop charts, I think this game, more than anything, has been word of mouth, word of mouth has been the biggest thing for this game, it has surpassed Steam World Dig 2, Pokemon Tournament, what else do we have here? Dragon Ball Xenoverse, um, because it was number 14. The last time I checked, I think a couple, like a day or two ago, it was number 14. And it shot up from number 14 to number one, like seriously, like in a couple days. And that is all because of word of mouth. The game came out, I think on, when did it come out? Thursday or Tuesday or Thursday, something like that. I don't know. But that is word of mouth. Everyone's been talking about Golf Story, Golf Story, Golf Story. Yo, this game, Golf Story is hot. And like, yeah, it, I, I can't believe it shot up past Thing World um, Dig too, because Image informs us that SteamWorld Dig 2 is their biggest selling SteamWorld game, you know, at launch ever. And they said that it's selling like hotcakes. So if that's selling like hotcakes, I wonder how many units Golf Story has, um, Golf Story has shipped it since then. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing that Golf Story is one that quick. Usually it takes about a week. Usually, once a game launches, if you know that it's going to go up to the top of the, 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 the top of the charts, but it usually takes about a week to go up to the top of the charts. Golf Story is already there, man. So the word of mouth is absolutely killing it for this game. I've talked about it a bit. I know I live streamed it, and I think I had around 70 to 80 people watching it, and I think around 30 to 40 people in my stream said, I'm going to buy this game as soon as it's available. I had people on my live stream for Golf Story saying, when is it available? It's 12 o'clock where I'm at. Why can't I buy it? I had people like chomping at the bit to buy the game after live streaming it. So shout outs to the developer Sidebar Games. You know, they were very nice with, with the review copy. Um, I just DM'd them, didn't have to send them an email. I just sent them a DM on Twitter, and they're like, oh, here you go. Here's a, here is the game. And I got the game, and I started playing it. Man, and you guys really like it. So a lot of you guys went up there and picked up uh, Golf Story as well. So I'm um, really happy that that game is doing well. 
The fact that it surpassed Steam World Dig 2 is very, very surprising. I did not expect that to happen. We'll see if it continues, though. We'll see how the charts go for next week. But um, if you notice, the eShop charts a lot of third-party games, guys. This is what I love to see because this kind of shows you that third-party games do have a chance um, on... Um, on a Nintendo system. It just pretty much shows that. I mean, Golf Stories number one, Steam World Digs number two, Pokemon Tournament, that's Bandai Namco, but it's also Nintendo IP. But NBA 2K18 um, is number four, Sonic Mania is number five, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is number six. So in the top six there, you have pretty much, um, you have only, you really have no real first party games. The whole top six is all third party games. Like, think about that for a second. The whole top six of the eShop charts is all third party games. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Um, there's just a lot of third-party games on there. Um, and I think even, like, in the, in the UK, FIFA's actually up at 6, which is interesting. Um, SteamWorld Dig is number 1. Golf Story is number 2. Um, Thimbleweed Park is selling a little bit better in the UK. And Pokemon Tournament is also selling a little bit better. Oh, no, it's actually not. It's number 5. And then Sonic Mania is selling a little bit better in the UK. But the UK is smaller. Obviously, the eShop in the U.S. is going to sell a lot better than the eShop in the U.K. because there's way more people in the U.S. But uh, overall, man, really good stuff, man. Really good stuff. I'm really happy that third-party developers are um, really selling um, well on there. Well, I mean, FIFA's doing... FIFA's doing... Um, it's doing okay in the U.K. In the U.K., it's number six on the eShop charts. So that's not bad at all. I mean, that's obviously... Um, we'll see how it does overall, but it's not bad at all. But FIFA's missing a lot of stuff. I mean... You know, even when I did my FIFA versus NBA 2K18 um, comparison video, it, it's, it's tough to kind of gloss over all the stuff that FIFA's missing, but it does have 1080p 60 frames for a second. Um, so really, like I said, if you want portable, the, really the, the reason to buy it is if you want portable FIFA. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 you want, if you want the portable experience, that's the reason why you buy it on the Switch more so than anything. Um, but overall, I, I don't care, to be honest, if you want my opinion. I'm actually really happy that Dragon Ball Xenoverse is number six. I think that's pretty cool that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is, is, is there because it shows that people want Dragon Ball Z content and so we can get Dragon Ball Fighter Z on the Switch, you know, so, so yeah, man. Um, so let, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next topic here. I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, get your questions ready, guys. I'll have a question, um, on there. Cuphead's not coming to Switch. Um, sorry to put that out there. Cuphead's not coming to Switch. I don't know. I mean, I've been playing a little bit of Cuphead uh, myself. I played about two hours of Cuphead. Um, and I kind of find it a, a bit kind of average. It's kind of mediocre. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I need to get into more of the challenging boss battles. I mean, it's already a challenging game, but I don't find it anywhere near as engaging as far as indie games go. Because this is an indie title. This is a premium indie title, $20. I think your money is better spent on SteamWorld Dig 2 or Golf Story, in my opinion. SteamWorld Dig 2 and Golf Story have a lot more engrossing um, content, a lot more RP, like the RPG mechanics that I, maybe I like more. Um, Cuphead just kind of is just, I don't know. I mean, it looks okay, but like I said, as for, we're talking about premium eShop games here, $15 and up, Golf Story and, um, and SteamWorld Dig 2, which you, you can buy SteamWorld Dig 2 on the PS4 or the PC. So there's also those versions as well. Um... So yeah, man, maybe I'll give away a copy. How about this, guys? You guys tweet out this stream. We get some more subscribers. We get 10 more subscribers, and we get one more sponsor um, for this stream, and I'll give away a PC cop. I'll give away a Steam version of Steam World Dig 2 in this live stream. We just need some more subscribers. How about five subscribers and one more sponsor, and I'll give away a Steam copy of Steam World Dig 2 um, in here. How about this? I'll give away two copies of Steam World Dig 2. I'll give away... I have an eShop copy. I'll give away an eShop, and I'll give away um, a PC copy. I'll give away two of those. So get some, um, tweet out the stream, do whatever you guys can, and um, we'll, see if, we'll, we'll see if we can get, uh, give away, get, do some giveaways for you guys. All right, so anyway, that's out of the way. Um, Target, they are listing Battle Chasers Night War for the November 28th release on the Nintendo Switch. So this is interesting because this game was in, indefinitely delayed and there was no release date given. They're saying that they're waiting on a Unity update. Um, we heard about the ukulele team, which this game, Battle Chasers Night War, in addition to ukulele, they're both using Unity. And both of those games are having problems as far as performance when it comes to Nintendo Switch because they're waiting on one update for Unity to go live because Unity is kind of junky. Um, so they're waiting on that. So we don't have an official release date. But Target and Best Buy, sorry about that, Target and Best Buy are listing it from November 28th. So 
They're usually pretty good with these listings. Sometimes they're wrong, but with Target and Best Buy having the same listing, it does seem like November 28th is probably a good date. What are we at? We're in September, so it's not like that's like close. <laughs> like it's more than a month, you know. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, it's like two months. So I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that it's going to be uh, November 28th for Battle Chasers. That game looks really good, but. You know, the problem, like I said, indie titles, the smaller games, like, it would be cool to buy it on PS4, Xbox One, or PC, but this type of game, it's already, like, you lose the functionality. It's not like a super graphically intense game. You lose the functionality of not being able to take the game anywhere. So, for me, I'll just wait. I'll just wait for Battle Chasers. I'm not going to sit there and be impatient and just get it, you know, because I think it's coming out, like, October 3rd or something like that, or October, October something. Um, October 5th, or I don't know. It's coming out soon. Um, and for me, I'll, I'll just wait. I'll just wait for the Switch version because I don't want to lose the functionality of being able to take it anywhere I want. Like this morning, I took my daughter to go see my mom and my aunt um, at their house across town. And I was playing SteamWorld Dig 2 because when they're at my mom's house, nobody cares about me anymore. They all just care about my daughter. So, um, so nobody bothers me whenever I'm over there. You know, I just say hi to my mom, give her a kiss, say hi to my aunt, give her a kiss. And then from there, it's everyone's just paying attention to my daughter. You know, she's the center of attention. So I had nothing to do, but I had my Switch on me, you know, and I was playing. I put, I put about a good two hours into SteamWorld Dig 2. I was there for about three or four hours. I put a good two hours into it, man. It was, it was good. It was really good. So, so yeah, man. Um, Project Octopath. Um, I'll get to your questions in just a little bit, guys. Uh, let me get through the stories here. So, so it's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, so what do you guys think about Battle Chasers, man? Um, what do you guys think about? You guys going to be picking that game up? Um, let me know in the comment section, man. Uh, let's see here. Doesn't seem like your type of game. Yeah. It, it's my type. Of, I mean, it's a classic turn-based RPG, which I like. So it, it's, it's definitely my type of... It's definitely my type of game. So uh, we'll see, man. Um... So moving on, who got, you guys really care about FIFA, man. <laughs> you got you football fans in your FIFA. Who cares? If, if EA doesn't want to sell their version of FIFA, don't, let them don't sell their version of FIFA. If they don't want to make a trailer for it, that's fine. Don't let them, who cares if they make a trailer or not? <laughs> I need to actually make, put more into the game, put, put more content into the game, make it line up more, or at least put some exclusive Nintendo Switch modes in there if you're not going to put everything else. Um, okay, let's get into the next article here. So, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim file size has been revealed. So, Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch, it's going to be 14 gigabytes of space. 14.3 gigabytes to be exact. That is smaller than the PS4 and Xbox One version. From what I understand, those versions are anywhere from 17 to 25 gigabytes or maybe more with patches and all that. So, Nintendo got it smaller, so it's probably going to be able to fit all on one cartridge. You're not going to be able to, you're not going to have to download some type of install and then do all sorts of weird stuff like NBA 2K18 or anything like that. It's all going to pretty much be on one 16 gigabyte cartridge. Same thing goes for Doom, although Doom, it's going to have everything on one cartridge, but you, um, what was it? The, the multiplayer for Doom is going to be on a, a separate download, 9 gigabyte download. Skyrim's file size, 14 gigabytes, pretty much fits if, you, if you're just picking up a Switch for the first time fits on there or you can just get an sd card which is fine you just do that you know and you'll be good uh you'll be good on that why <laughs> we can't go a week without talking about crapcom <laughs> capcom mind you um i mean i can talk about capcom you guys just wait till the end and we'll get some questions in because i'm almost done with the with the news articles then i know you guys have a lot to say you guys are shooting off all sorts of stuff so we'll, we'll talk about all we'll talk about all that man um all right, so moving on to the next article. So this is a funny story because this one came out of Source Gaming. And Source Gaming says, uh, don't count on Ike or Roy for Fire Emblem Warriors 1 DLC. According to a Nintendo Dream article, they won't make it unless there's a Fire Emblem Warriors 2. So this was translated by them. But the thing about, I will say about this is that, uh, they, and they said the DLC, Fire Emblem Warriors 1 DLC, this is the thing about Koei Tecmo. This is the thing about this. Like, maybe that's the case that we might not get Roy or Ike. I mean, I've already played with them in Smash Brothers. It'd be cool if they were in the game. Obviously, Roy and Ike would be awesome. Of course, I want Roy and Ike and Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, although, I love Fire Emblem, like, the newer Fire Emblem games. Um, I like those more than the older ones. I've played all the older ones, but I like newer. I like Fates. Fates and Awakening are my two favorite Fire Emblem games. Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia, I actually beat that. 
uh, recently. Um, I was right at the end of the game and I actually beat that. And that's probably, that's probably like tied with Fates or like right around, right around Fates. Yo, shout outs. Why is that logo so small? Jesus. That belt, that, that logo is very tiny. That Naruto logo is very tiny for the sponsor. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is very small. Hold up, guys. We doing this live. Don't worry, Nintendo. I'm, I'm family friendly. Trust me. Um, we doing this live, so let's um, let's change that. That logo is so small. I can't change it right now, guys. But like I said, I'm just I'm just I'll fix it. But anyway, shout outs to the newest sponsor there. Um, I got I got to shout this out before we talk more about this. Maximus uh, Maximus Mansteel has sponsored as well. So shout outs to him. We hit we hit our sponsor goal. So let me update that on there, guys. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that, Maximus and Mark Bryant. We should have a mo we should have a Toby emoji next, guys. We're gonna be getting some Toby action here, okay? We're gonna be getting some Toby action because I I can upload now more than two. Now you guys let me know now that I have two sponsors. You guys' headband emojis work? You guys should be able to put headband emojis on there. But I don't know how if you guys can test it out or not. So if you can have a headband, you know, emoji, put that in the chat for me. Um, but shout outs, man. Thank you so much, Maximus. Do appreciate that. We'll get some more subscribers. We'll give away um, that switch um, that switch code as well. And I'll just use Nightbot for that, guys. Switch um, SteamWorld Dig 2 and also a PC copy of that as well. So shout outs, man. Um, so I updated that. We're two out of two. Awesome. So if anyone else wants to, obviously, the more sponsors, the better. So thank you guys so much. I do appreciate that. I really do. It makes me feel good that you guys are willing to help out the channel as far as we, you know, as we're trying to drive and make things better here at Player Essence. So thank you so much, Maximus. Do appreciate that, man. Um, do appreciate that. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so Fire Emblem Warriors um, DLC. This is the same company, Koei Tecmo, that said literally like two, three weeks ago, they said, we are not going to be doing... Fire Emblem Warriors DLC. We have no plans. <laughs> We've got zero plans for Fire Emblem Warriors DLC. We've got zero plans. <laughs> and then like two weeks later, hey everyone, Fire Emblem Warriors is getting DLC. And not only is it getting DLC, it's getting the season pass. <laughs> You just said that you have no plans for DLC, so what happened? Did you guys all go sit down in a room, circling it up, like the like the, the five Kage Summit? You guys all sat down and were like, should we do DLC or not? Vote. DLC. You? DLC. <laughs> you? <laughs> Miyamoto? DLC. <laughs> Kimishima. His glasses like shine. DLC. <laughs> like, like what, what happened? Like, what, what happened from two weeks ago to this point? So they're saying once again, it, it's not likely you're gonna see Ike or Roy. Next thing you know, it. Yeah. Freaking Roy comes out with the freaking fire sword. Roy DLC for Fire Emblem Warriors. Pick it up now. Like, I wouldn't believe anything these guys say, okay? Because they just told you that they have no plans for DLC and somehow put together the most elaborate season pass DLC plans in a matter of weeks. They got a bright outfit and everything. They must have created all that DLC and all those plans. Excuse me, I'm spitting now. <laughs> I'm spitting it so funny. Um, <laughs> and all those plans out of nowhere, right? <laughs> this company, this company is so funny, man. <laughs> this company is so funny. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. So I, I wouldn't take it too seriously, guys, um, when it comes to what they're saying about Ike and Roy. Um, I, I, I wouldn't take it too seriously. So we'll, we'll see. Sounds like Uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I, yeah, I would not take that. To, I wouldn't take that to heart right now. Just because they just told us that there was no DLC at all. They just told us that. Then all of a sudden, oh, well, <laughs> well, five Kaga Summit happened. And, uh, all of a sudden DLC's, uh, DLC's in. <laughs> Kimishima. Release. 
did I see? And he just like turns away and he has his Hokage, his Hokage cape flowing in the background. <laughs> we, and speaking of that, we get, we get another sponsor. I'll put on my Hokage cape as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. OJ, when was the last time you had water? Um, I had water just a little bit ago. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but anyway, um, DLC get the in-game items or currency. Mario Odyssey DLC confirmed. But anyway, guys, that's that. Let's move on to the next article. Or is there a next article? There is no next article. Okay. 36, 36 minutes in. We pretty much got through anything. Guys, user submitted topics. What do you guys want me to talk about at this time? Excuse me. Um, put your questions in the chat, and I'll be answering questions, and I'll be discussing topics for another for a while guys okay um, i might have to go get some water in between this though like roadhouse said i've had water i, I had water this morning but for this stream i'm probably going to need some more water because i'm going to be talking a lot um so put your questions in the chat and let me give a shout out to kevin herrera for the subscription thank you so much kevin welcome to the village homie everyone in the chat please make this man feel welcome and if maximus and if mark bryant if you guys can um give headband emojis please Please, headband emojis for everyone um, in the chat if you can. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, Maximus. Okay, so I see what it is. I see, I see what it is. You guys have headbands by your names. So you guys are, you guys have been, uh, you guys are the, 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 the real ninja right there, okay? You guys are the real ninja right there because you guys have headbands by your names. You guys have the mark of the headband. So I can see, I can see there. So, so sponsors have that. Now, as far as emojis go, I think now I'll be able to give you guys emojis. Now that I have two sponsors, now I'll be able to give you guys emojis to where you can use. Um, shout outs to, um, I think, who was that? Um, uh, is it... Rig, Rig Oberto. Yeah, Rigoberto, uh, Rigoberto, <laughs> Rigoberto Romero donated two dollars through super chat, but didn't put a message at all. So thank you so much, Romero. I do appreciate that. Ninja, please give him some mug. Um, give him some mug. Give him some love. Give him some. Give him some mug. <laughs> mug him. Mug him in the chat. <laughs> Mug him for all he's got. He's got more than $2. I know it. <laughs> no, thank you so much, uh, Romero. I do appreciate that. Um, talk about my white tea. I bang in my white tea. You know, <laughs> what am I talking about my white tea for? Um, next major update for the Switch that adds features. Um, I'd probably say later this year or early next year, Winter Horizon. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, um, I don't know what features they're going to add. I know the last major update they had actually added support for like uh, Pokemon tournament controller, which was good. Um, bug fixes, things like that, adjusting like the Wi-Fi and uh, stuff like that. So um, I know that's what the last one did, but we'll see. Uh, we'll we'll see what the the next ones do or anything like that, man. Um, uh, let's go to the next one here. Um, but good question, uh, Winter Horizon. Will Bucka, too many games coming to the Switch this fall. Wow, I'm not used to all this good news for Nintendo. Seriously, man, it's, it's been a minute. Um, I talked about my white tee. Armando, uh, is it Mar Marchar Marchalar? Hey, OJ, I want, I want you to be an antagonist on the next debate instead of the protagonist to hear other people's good ideas instead of negative things from the other party. Um, okay, we'll see about that, man. I'll see what I can do for you. Um, L-J-I-N-K... Maximus, man, still Jesus, man. I um, hope everything's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Um, player Essence, uh, Solar Seven says, Player Essence, are you going to be playing Mario, um, um, Mario Odyssey during Halloween um, or taking your daughter trick or treating? I'm probably going to take my daughter trick or treating. I'll probably play Mario for you guys too. I'll probably do both. Um, Roadhouse says, OJ, can we talk about how well Doom seems to be optimized? Um, really well for the Switch. How the file size is going to be smaller than NBA 2K18. Yeah, man, Doom looks pretty good. Obviously, it has the cut frame rate down to 30 frames per second, but for, you know, if you're playing Doom in 30 frames per second on, on like, a screen like this, on a screen this small, it's going to look amazing, you know? I mean, when you're playing on your TV, obviously, if you have a big 4K TV, playing it on, you know, PS4, Xbox One's going to look better. Um, but for me... 
Doom is going to be something that I play, like, you know, um, when I'm at my mom's house. When I take my daughter to go see my mom and I have Doom right there, I'm just going to be playing. I'll probably play Doom almost all portable. Unless I'm going to be, I'm probably going to stream it for you guys. So I'll probably play it on the TV when I stream it. But for the most part, I'm going to be playing Doom right here on this. And it's going to look amazing. So, yeah, um, it, it does look very well optimizing. And you have to if you're going to bring that type of game to the Switch. You got to make sure that it runs good. So, yeah, man, it looks great. Um, and yeah, it's smaller than NBA 2K18, but the difference between NBA, NBA 2K18 has so many different modes and things in it. Like NBA 2K18 has like the virtual currency, has all the different season modes and gameplay modes. It actually has a lot more than Doom. Doom just has the single player, has the arcade mode, and then it has multiplayer. And the multiplayer is a separate download. So Doom is a little bit more simplistic in its design more than anything. But yeah, man, uh, pretty cool. So good question, Roadhouse. Um... Uh, feel good 99 says OJ I figured uh, Toby is some character from Naruto but why don't you call those troll why don't you call those trolls Toby um, but why do I call the trolls Toby um Toby is just a Toby is just a nice way of calling someone like um, a hater that doesn't know what they're talking about usually um, I call him hater or I, I don't call him hater because that sounds bad so I'd rather just call them a Toby and calling them a Toby is because Toby from Naruto he's he acts really silly and um, he just acts really silly. He says silly things. He does silly things. And that's kind of what haters do. They act silly. They do silly things. They say silly things. A lot of stuff that they say isn't really backed up by anything. So that's the reason why I call him a Toby. It's just a nice way and more of a code way so we can kind of talk to each other without them getting all crazy because the chances of them watching like my content right now is slim to none for most haters or Tobies. So I just call them Toby instead. So it makes things easier. So once you're in the village, you'll know what a Toby is and you, you'll do the same thing. And you notice like if you don't call someone a hater or, you know, a troll or a fanboy or whatever the case is, they usually don't come at you as hard. If, if you notice that you can use <laughs> or they don't know what you're talking about. So it, it's funny. You could you can kind of mess with them. So I, I just do it that way in order to ease the blow, make things not as bad. Because when you call someone a troll or a fanboy or things like that, it kind of makes some like venom, some stink to it. But when you call someone a Toby, it's kind of like more playful. So that's the reason why um, I just say Toby instead. Uh, good question, man. Uh, David Montaro says, how do I donate? Uh, nice to see you're doing okay. Well, there's a couple different ways. You can sponsor if you want to sponsor. Um, that's, that's a really uh, cool thing that we're rolling out. Um, so you can click the sponsor button that's right underneath the stream right there. You should see it. It should be green, um, sponsor button, or I don't know what color it is for you, but mine's green because I use the night mode. Um, or you can spot, or you could donate by checking out the description. Just check out the link in the description. It, it should be the first line there. You can donate that way as well. And your name will pop up on the screen. Um, so I definitely suggest using Streamlabs and using the link in the description, then super chat because Streamlabs, you actually get your name. Um, on there, um, like on the actual uh, my live stream right now, you know what I'm saying, and it gets recorded into the into the database. So yeah, definitely, I would I would say do that instead, just so your name can show up and you get the recognition. Um, so thanks, thank, thanks David for that for that. I do appreciate that. Um, um, let's see here. Um, Zealous Flame says, "Are you are you one of the people that gets upset about the Switch getting too many ports?" Personally, I don't see a problem. Any problems with it? No, I, I don't get upset when there's more games. Just as long as there's new games along with ports, I'm fine. Um, I wasn't upset when the PS4 and Xbox One were getting ports. Um, I got those systems when they were Port City, you know, <laughs> and not getting all the, anywhere near as many um, quality first party titles or even quality titles in general um, <laughs> as the Nintendo Switch. So no, I have no problem at all um, with that uh, with ports. That's good. Some a lot of people haven't played, um, you know, these games and the, the, for for Nintendo ports actually make sense because a lot of these games you can't play portably. There was no way to play L.A. Noir, or there's no way to play Doom, or there's no way to play any of these games in a handheld. And for the first time ever, you're playing a lot of these games on a handheld. So to me, ports actually make more sense on the Nintendo Switch than any other system. Um, so yeah, man. Broken by Destiny says, how's it going, Player Essence? Dude, I'm doing good. Um, I'm blessed. Um, I'm, I got great fans. I have over 100 people watching. I couldn't be... Um, obviously, things could be better, but I'm not going to complain, man. I'm, I'm definitely doing good. How are you doing, man? Um... Um, you need uh, you need water, OJ. I don't know why you guys are saying I need water. Is it because of my voice? Okay, okay. Give me a second, guys. I will go get some water. Give me a second.
You guys happy? There you go. My voice better now? <clears throat> there we go. Will you ever go on uh, Weapon Wheel podcast? <laughs> um, probably not. <laughs> Although I don't have a problem with any of those guys on the Weapon Wheel podcast. I'm actually all for um, other um, African-American YouTubers doing their thing, doing what they can, building the audience. I'm actually, so I'm 100% for them doing their podcast. You're not going to see any hate from me because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be that type of brother that hates on other people like that. Um, shout outs to Mark Bryant for the $5 donation. I don't know why he donated five dollars. He's just sponsored and he's a Patreon. But thank you so much, Mark. I do appreciate the five dollar donation. Just make sure you have enough funds to buy all those games because I know you're a big you're a big game buyer on there. So thank you so much, man. I do appreciate that. Um, that five dollar donation, man. That's awesome. Your name should pop up here in the bottom uh, corner of the of the screen as well, man. Um. So yeah, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm really behind on questions now, guys. <laughs> Frozen Gamer says, is Dark Souls in the works? I would say, I, yes, I think so. I mean, I don't know what else from software could be working on when it comes to Nintendo. So, I would definitely say that Dark Souls is in the works. I would definitely say that Dark Souls is in the works. Toby Desu. <laughs> uh, Dual Otaku. Where do you see the Switch in two years? Um, I see the Switch in two years basically having two models. I would say like a new Nintendo Switch where it's going to be like an enhanced switch, maybe in two or three years. And then I also see it selling probably like around in two years, probably like around, I would probably say like 40 to 50 million in two years. So I see it having really good sales, getting some good third party support, Nintendo putting out some great content and having potentially a new model, like a new Nintendo switch too. So I think that's kind of where I see it. Yeah. Y'all hit that like button. Definitely hit that like button. Mark Bryant says, how high is your hype for Farming Simulator? <laughs> well, if you saw my video, you guys, like, I, I tell you guys, like, I'll tell you how I see it, man. Um, I, I live, like, I know about this stuff. Like, all the stuff that they talked about in that, in that show, in that trailer for Farming Simulator, because I talked about it in a video. Um, I've seen that stuff before. I've seen my friends, you know, harvest those crops in high school. Like I said, my high school, we were out in a rural area of town undeveloped not well it, there was stuff but just houses i mean there wasn't a lot of businesses like you really had to kind of drive in about a few miles before you hit some businesses and stuff so it smelled like manure when we we're out there at pe farming is something central valley like we're like one of the main farming producers in the world like here where i live farming is huge where i live man like farming is big so for all the sales for farming simulator half of them are gonna be half of them are gonna be right here in the central valley but no i mean like farming is really big where i'm from so i don't want to hate on the game because i'm afraid the, the farmers are gonna hear me if, if i start hating on farming simulator out of the town. <laughs> farming is huge where i'm at man i mean grapes um all sorts of crops. I mean, like, like McFarland, which isn't very far from here. They're one of the biggest providers um, throughout California, throughout like the West Coast for various different things. So farmland is very big here because it, it's very humid and it's hot. There's a lot of sunshine and we do get rain as well. Although we did have a drought, which didn't help things. But but yeah, man. So um, <laughs> I'm hyped for, for, for the Central Valley that this game is coming <laughs> Because you're going to see farmers on the back of their tractors taking their breaks playing farming simulator. They're going to be tending their soybeans. And then they're going to be tending to their soybeans on the farming simulator. So, so yeah, man. And heck, when I, when I walk outside, it smells like manure sometimes. So, man, I, I'm all down for, for farming, you know. But I, I don't know if it's for me. But I think I might just get it because it might be funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... Uh, let's see here. Brian, is it Skane? I probably said that wrong. Sorry about that, dude. Uh, do you think FIFA isn't selling that great because it came out the same day as the SNES Classic? Uh, we don't know the sales for FIFA. FIFA is number six in the UK. We don't know where it's selling at. So I don't know. I don't know how you're saying FIFA isn't. Which are you talking about FIFA on the Switch? Or are you talking about FIFA worldwide, like for everyone? 
Because I don't, I don't know the sales for FIFA right now, and I don't know if anybody knows the sales for FIFA. <laughs> 22 dislikes. Jesus, 22 dislikes. <laughs> that, that's a lot of dislikes. Um, I've been talking a lot on Twitter, guys. <laughs> A lot of people get owned on Twitter by me, so they get mad and they go to my channel and they just they, they subscribe just to, just to dislike my videos now because a lot of people get upset at me on Twitter. Um, I make a lot of people silly, then they get mad and they come and like, well, I'm gonna dislike your video. <laughs> so it's all good, man. I'd rather have people come than not people come at all. Um, okay, let's catch up here, man. I am so behind. I am so behind. Uh, oh, you're in Hanford? Uh, cor corn, cotton, and, and, and grapes? Yeah, man, I've been to Hanford. I've been to Hanford quite a bit. Got that Central Valley pride. That's why if you guys see like the Fresno, um, like I went to Fresno State, which is also in the Valley. If you guys ever watch Fresno State play on TV, or if you see Fresno State's logo, there's a big V. Like, you see, like, a V on there, and that basically stands for the Valley, at least on their helmets and stuff. That just stands for, like, the Valley Pride, you know, like, and that's just, like, we're over here. We're big old corn-fed boys. We, we play football, although we suck this year. We, we did have some good players. You know, Derek Carr, the quarterback for the Raiders, he, he went to Fresno State. Trent Dilfer, Super Bowl-winning quarterback for the Ravens, he went to Fresno State, too. De uh, oh, David Carr, uh, let's not worry about him, but he was the number one pick by the Houston Texans in 2002. So, Fresno State, baby. <laughs> that Valley Pride. Uh, farming is big here, too. Heck yeah, man. A lot of, exactly, a lot of wine, and dude, we got wineries. So much wine in Cali. So much wine. You might get drunk off the fumes if you go by there sometimes, bro. <laughs> Um, is that Sony water? No. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, can we stop having an up-to-date count on the dislikes, guys? Jesus. <laughs> you don't have to, don't have to remind me. <laughs> oh, man. The farmers are pressing the dislikes. Why? I just gave him shout-outs. It's not the farmers. It's Toby. It's Toby's. No, it's really because it's because I talk too much on Twitter, guys. <laughs> if you want me to be honest, it's because I talk too much on Twitter. Um, did I miss? Uh, did I miss some questions? Um, do you guys have any other questions? Uh, okay, T dude says, "What are your thoughts on Attack on Titan two coming to the Switch?" Oh yes, very happy that Attack on Titan two is coming to the Switch. Really, really happy about that. Excuse me. Attack on Titan 2. That's a big third-party game. A big Japanese title. Really graphically intense type of game. Although it's coming to the PS Vita as well. We're probably going to get the stories. Is the Nintendo Switch version the PS Vita version of Attack on Titan 2? Question mark? <laughs> I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you there will be somebody who says that. Is it the P even though the PS Vita version is not coming over to America, there'll be someone who says, "Is it the PS Vita version?" <laughs> it must be. It has to be. There's no way that it's the PS4 Xbox One version. No, no, the Switch. It's not possible. It can't. It can't do that, can it? <laughs> um. So yeah, man. Uh. Yeah, I'm happy about that, dude. <laughs> I'm happy about uh, Attack on Titan 2. I think it's really good. Koei Tecmo has been showing major support, man. And there's like a bunch of like Dynasty Warriors games. Some of the ports from the older systems coming out in Japan. Uh, so, yeah, man. Uh, I am not drunk. It's water, dude. <laughs> I don't even really drink. I don't really drink. I drink maybe a couple times a year, and I don't even drink that much. <laughs> uh, you said I needed water because I sounded like a psycho. I didn't sound like a psycho. I was intentionally, I was intentionally acting silly with my voice. Um, Switch versus Vita in Attack on Titan Two <laughs> comparison. Switch versus the Vita. Why is the cup yellow? Why you have a problem with the yellow cup? What you? You don't like the Simpsons? 
<laughs> What's in your cup? <laughs> Water. Water. Um, OJ, did you talk about how it only took two people to, to develop Golf Story? No, I didn't know until recently that it was only two people that developed Golf Story. That's amazing, man. But, I mean, put some solid RPG mechanics in there. I mean, there's some issues with the game. Like, apparently, some people are having some issues. Um, and they're, they're working on a patch as well. But, yeah, man, two people. That's impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive. Um, Black Stang uh, says, uh, do you think Dark Souls might come to the Switch? Yeah, I talked about that. I think Dark Souls could come to the Switch. Um, Cherry uh, Latkin? I probably said that wrong. Uh, when do you think we'll see more of Seasons, uh, Season of Heaven? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably 2018, I would think. <laughs> Toby Pony? Toby slash Pony? Um... Historic duel. Monster Hunter World on the Switch later this year. Later this year? No. You mean next year? Probably not. I think Monster Hunter is going to be coming. I think Monster Hunter is going to get its own version on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, do you know about any unannounced third-party games? Yes, I do know about a bunch of unannounced third-party games. <laughs> let me let me list them to you. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> well, let's just start with Grand Theft Auto 10. That's coming to the Switch. Trust me. Um. Uh, no, I don't know about any right now. But maybe we'll see. I think that there's going to be some more potential secrets. Nintendo World Championships is coming up. Maybe we get a new announcement there. Maybe not for third party, but maybe a first party announcement there. We'll need to wait and see. Excuse me. Um, hey, Bad Nine Amco, where is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Collection for the Switch? Give me a second, guys. Anytime someone mentions Naruto, um, Ultimate Ninja, I will make sure to say that this game sucks. Okay, I, I these these games, they look so cool. You buy it because it looks cool. Like it looks so cool. You look at the box. You look at the box. There, like you see, you're like, oh, Naruto, it's gonna be cool. And then you play the game, and the only thing cool about these games are the cutscenes. Are the, the, the it's 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 just a big cutscene game. It, the, the combat is so trash. <laughs> the only reason why people play these games is because they take the fights that you have from the anime and they make them even better. They make them even more epic than the anime. But these games suck. <laughs> God, they suck. The gameplay is trash. The gameplay is so trash. I could have put myself... To play through the whole collection of those games? No, I've already done it. I've already done it. Like one more thing. I'll give you one more second. Okay. This game sucks too. I just want to make sure I <laughs> just want to make sure I point it out. I have all the achievements in this game. And I went through hell. I went through hell collecting everything in this game. This game sucks. This game is so and it has online achievements too. This game is horrible. I don't like it, but it looks cool. Look at the back! Look at look at the back! It looks so cool, huh? Look at it, it looks so cool. Look at it, look at it. Oh, you can you can play as Naruto. You have Sage Mode. Look at look at it. Look at Sage Mode Naruto on there. This game sucks too. I got all the achievements. It's horrible. Now, this game, good, pretty good. I like this game, but this is dead. This franchise, which was exclusive to the Wii, okay, exclusive to the GameCube and the Wii. The Classic Ninja series, or Gekito Ninja Tyson in Japan. This series, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Tommy, that's Takara Tommy. You see right here, Takara Tommy? There, let me move my finger. They're dead as a video game publisher. They're not going to publish anything. The company who made this, Aiding, 
They're MIA. So this this game's good. They need to bring this back. If they made this modern graphics that the Switch can pull off and put it on there, this would be amazing. This is a good game. This is not. Bandai Namco. See, look, and you can tell, like, this is back when it was just called Bandai. Oh, Bandai Namco Entertainment. Entertainment is the key word because it's entertainment. It's like a movie. It's not an actual real game. Not an actual real game. And I'm a big Naruto fan, obviously. The fourth is right over there, watching over all of us. But yeah, man. Naruto. Because everyone made fun of me saying Naruto. Like, just like saying Naruto. Uh, they said Naruto. Na like, they would make fun of me, so I just say Naruto. So I just say it like that. So it's just so I can make sure that uh, I don't, people don't get mad at me. Um, <laughs> these games are trash. Yes! Yes! This is trash! It's <laughs> the cutscenes are top quality. The combat, the animations... It's like, it's like Bandai Namco is in a room. They're in their own Five Kage Summit. And then the president's like, okay, Naruto game. You guys have $30 million. Production team, cinematics team, all of you guys, here's $27 million. <laughs> Animations, production, cutscenes. 27 million dollars. Developers? Fighting game mechanics? You guys get 200,000 dollars. And then the developers are, but, but what about the rest of the money? What money? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you speak? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Did you speak? <laughs> Did I tell you to speak? Sit down and shut up. <laughs> Do as I tell you. Now go back to the room and, and rehash the same the same combat mechanics from Ultimate Ninja on the PlayStation 3. <laughs> Rehash the same combat mechanics that we've been doing for the past decade. Hey, production team, hopefully you guys have a good time. Hopefully that's enough money. Hey, make it look really pretty and beautiful. Awesome. Make it look better than even the anime, okay? Here, here you go. Here's 27 mil. Take it. Put it to good use. <laughs> they, they don't care about the gameplay in these games. Because the game, they're, they're using cutscenes as if this is 2007. As if this is, they're using quick time events as if this is, this is 2007 God of War. They're, they're, they still think God of War is popular when it comes to, to the cutscenes. <laughs> Even God of War abandoned God of War. <laughs> this company, Bandai, they still think cutscenes are like the, is, is gameplay. Like, that's what this game is. You're sitting there pressing, you got no combos. Okay, see, this is what happens when you guys bring up Naruto. This is what happens. I fall into this trap every time. <laughs> Stop bringing up Naruto games. <laughs> I fall into this trap every single time, Naruto. Every time somebody brings up Naruto, I fall into this trap. Dang it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Where's your SNES at? Um, I haven't picked mine up yet. Um, I have, I got it from, or it hasn't been shipped yet. I got two from Walmart and they haven't been, or not Walmart, uh, from Amazon and they're not shipping out until October, so. Do you think Switch will get a punch out game? No, I don't think, I don't think it will get a punch out game. Um, Star Tropics. Star Tropics is dead. I mean, it's not like anything like, what are you going to do with Star Tropics? I don't think they're going to make a Star Tropics game. They just might as well just make a new IP. Capcom, where is Fate Bullet on the Switch? Fate Bullet? Do you mean... Wait, well, Alicio, do you mean like... Um, um, what was it? Sword Art Online? Fatal Bullet? That's not Capcom. That is, um, that is Bandai Namco. Dual Otaku. What is the, what was the probability of Evil Within Two coming to the Switch? I'd probably say it's about fifty percent, just based on what the developer said. Um, yeah, Arm still has a good community of people. You can still find matches. I 
I remember Team Four Star uh, saying uh, saying people should watch the uh, Ninja Storm uh, cutscenes over the actual anime. Yeah, the cutscenes in in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm are significantly better than the the actual anime as far as what they can do. They're, they're, Bandai Namco spends all their money on the cutscenes in that game. The Evil Within? Nani? Isn't that game whack? No, it's actually pretty good. Um, Armando uh, says, Hey, OJ, are you getting Mario Odyssey at midnight or are you waiting till morning? Um, I'm going to be getting that at midnight because Best Buy is going to have a midnight launch for the game. Um, am I buying Mario Odyssey, says Frozen Gamer. Yes, I'm buying Mario Odyssey. I might get a review code, though, so you never know. Um, have you played, uh, is it Frank? Frank Lambeth says, have you played Tatsunoku vs. Capcom? Yes, me and my friend Andre, we played Tatsunoku vs. Capcom when I was in college. Um, Brett Cummings says, what do you think of Skyrim? Never played it. I love Skyrim. It's one of my favorite games that I've ever played on the 360. Um, I still have my 360 copyright over there. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get it. Look, looks cool. Do you think there'll be an October Direct 2017? No, because we just had one in September. So no, I don't think there'll be one. Um, Monopoly comes out on October 31st, 2017 here in Germany. Will you play that game with the community? Um, I don't think there's online play in Monopoly, so I don't think there's a way for me to play the game with the community. Um, Murray says, with Bethesda support on Switch, do you think they would have Elder Scrolls 6 on the Switch? Would you mind if it missed certain features like mods? Um, yeah, I don't mind if it misses mods. Um, I'm not a big on mods anyway, so, um, so yeah, I, I don't really care. I just want the game on there. I just want to play portably. I don't have time to, to put a bunch into mods and all that. I don't have time to play a lot of games, you know, so just give me, just give me the next game. I don't, I don't care. Um, OJ, drink H2O. I've already been drinking H2O. Um, any news on Payday 2? Nothing that I've heard so far, man. Um, you guys have any other questions? I've answered a lot of them. So if you guys have more, keep them coming. If you have any topics that you want me to discuss too, I, I can discuss the topics. Um, otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start playing Steam World Day 2 on my Switch. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. I am joking. Shout out. So that headband, is look, that headband is looking clean in the chat though. Like seriously, that sponsor headband. Yo, if you guys want a headband, shout outs, for the, shout outs to the sponsors. Shout outs to Mark Bryan and uh, Maximus Manstill for the sponsors. I do appreciate that. I should be able to do a Toby sponsor or like a Toby, a Toby emoji for you guys. So, I mean, I think that's going to be pretty cool. So I sh I'm going to look forward to doing a Toby emoji. Um, uh, 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 uh. How's my random Final Fantasy victory? Um, Trickster. Trick or is it Trickstar? Whenever Elder Scrolls 6 does happen, it would come to Switch without a doubt. I wouldn't say without a doubt. I don't think it'd come without a doubt, but I mean, I think it has a good chance. I mean, it just depends on what's the Switch going to be like when Elder Scrolls 6 is here. We don't even know when Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be, when that's even happening. So, T-Dude says, final question, what are your thoughts on Pokémon Tournament DX, Pokémon Tekken in Germany, outselling Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite in Japan last week? Yikes. Um, my thoughts are, I don't feel sorry for Capcom. Um... They really should think about who wants their games. Um, America and the PS4 and Xbox One audience are showing more and more resistance to Capcom's games. I don't really think that they think of Capcom as a quality publisher. Um, Capcom has been giving them titles now uh, for the past year or so, and Xbox One and PS4 gamers have responded by not buying their crap. Um, so um, Capcom really needs to evaluate who actually wants their games. Um, what's the deal with achievements on the Switch? There are no achievements on the Switch, so I'm not sure if we're going to see them anytime soon. Maybe when Nintendo does their paid online, maybe. Um, Chad, um, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> yeah, you think Nintendo will ever develop a good online system like Xbox Live or outsource to another party? Um, they already did outsource somewhat to another party, and that is uh, DNA. Um, will it ever be as good as Xbox Live? Not anytime soon. Xbox Live took literally going on decades now to get as good as it is um, um ben uh, says do you still play boa um what is boa it's not it's not breath of the wild uh beyond uh, i don't know what boa what, what is boa a toby mask yeah i'm definitely gonna get a toby mask once we we should i should be able to make a toby mask for you guys we definitely have to hit up that sponsor button if you guys want to see more of the emojis and stuff man um, 
Armando Manachar uh, says, just beat Steamroll Dig 2, finished up 100%, really good. I was surprised. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, Superfly, uh, is it Superfly? Super, Superlify? I don't know. I probably said that wrong. Are you actually excited for Wolf 2 or are you just getting it just because it's a Switch game? I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting it just because it's for third party support. Am I excited? No. But I'm just getting it just so I can support the third party developers so we can get more games. And I, and I said that about Doom as well. I'm not like, oh my god, I'm going to, oh, Doom! Oh! Nope, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just buying it just because I want to help the situation on Switch. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. To, it doesn't matter to Bethesda. All they see is, oh, money came in. They don't care if I, they don't care my reason for buying it. All they care if, if I just buy it. Um, need for speed payback on the Switch? Probably not. What is your Dream 20 Switch 18 lineup, brother? Um, from Historic Duel. Uh, it's shaping up pretty good. I mean, if we can get Pokemon, Metroid Prime, and Travis Strikes again, No More Heroes, that's a pretty good lineup. And Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem, yeah, Fire Emblem, Travis Strikes again, No More Heroes, Pokemon, Metroid Prime 4. I'm, dude, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. And plus, there's going to be Yoshi. Plus, there's going to be Kirby. That's already a good lineup. Plus, we have Runner, Runner, um... Runner 3. I'm, dude, I'm already okay with pretty much the lineup so far from what we know. <laughs> uh, do you think Kingdom Hearts 3 will make it to the Switch? Eventually. Trick Star. The 3DS is Nintendo's main source of revenue. It still has some time. Definitely. It's about 50% now, I think they said. Murray. Also, what do you think about certain handheld games only? Uh, handheld only games on Switch. I'm playing Demo on Switch now and it uses the touchscreen exclusively. But it's but it's the best game I've played in months. Um, I don't have a problem with handheld only uh, outside of the fact that I can't I can't stream it. So I kind of want to see games do both. Like I don't mind games like using the touchscreen, but also put in button controls too, just so I can stream. Um, Trickstar says much. I would much rather take Portable Kingdom Hearts three than Final Fantasy fifteen. We don't know if Kingdom Hearts we don't know if Kingdom Hearts three will be good either. So we have to wait and see. Um, Cherry uh, Lockin says, uh, "Do you do you want Bioshock Collection on the Switch? No, not really." Real One Gaming says, "Player, since will Capcom actually announce a new Mega Man game in December, or are we going to be disappointed again?" Um, it is Capcom after all. I wouldn't bank on Capcom announcing a new Mega Man game, um, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, Rambo Four says, "OJ, which game will sell more, um, Skyrim or Doom on the Switch?" That's a good, good question. Um, I'm going to go with Skyrim because it's in the, I'm going to go with Skyrim because it's in the November slot. Um, and because Doom, there needs to be a separate download maybe. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking here, guys. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just go with Skyrim for right now. But I think both will break 500,000 units sold. Um, uh, Ben says Breath of the Wild. Sorry. Um, I haven't played Breath of the Wild in like, I think about a, about a week maybe, but I'll get back to it. Um... Do you still have a strike on your account? No, I don't have a strike on my account. I threatened Sony, and they took the strike off my account. Um, Nintendo gave their console owners to get third parties. This gen portability speaks volume. Absolutely, portability speaks volume. Without portability, um, yeah, the Switch would be in trouble right now. <laughs> um, Frozen Gamer says, I want Dark Souls on the Switch. And I want an ice cream cone right now, actually. Um, Mark Bryant says, Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler looks amazing, Mark. I do appreciate the Octopath Traveler shoutouts. Um, is it Ma, Mahiti? Mash, Mash, Mash D? Mash D? Shin Megami, exactly. Oh, Shin Megami, uh, Shin Megami Tensei, exactly. That's another game. Heck yeah, dude. Um, Armando Manager says, next year should, uh, should be a wake-up call for third party. Uh, should be good support. Absolutely. That, it's a wake-up, it's a wake-up call right now. We're going to see more games being announced. Um, don't forget Mario Party 11. I'll forget Mario Party 11. <laughs> Chad U YouTube says, I'd love to see Nintendo bring back River City Ransom if anybody remembers that. Yeah, River City Ransom is cool. It's actually coming into like a collection of that those style of games. The Kunio Kun. Those games are coming in a collection to Nintendo Switch. So maybe there's a River City Ransom coming back. Cesar Toledo says, are you getting Xbox One X or don't care about uh, don't care about it uh, but want to know? Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be getting it. I, I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll get an Xbox One X, but probably not. Um, is it, why, why am I here 44? Anything for Fire Emblem on the Switch you want to change slash improve from 3DS Fire Emblems? I just want amazing graphics and great gameplay that they've done before. That's all I want. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did mean Fatal Bullet. Okay, yeah, cool, Fatal Bullet. Yeah, that's Bandai Namco, not Capcom, dude. Um, Frank Lambeth, uh, when do you think we will get 
themes and a real virtual um, icon like the N64. I think you meant virtual console. Yeah, virtual con like the N64 and GameCube. Um, I think we'll get themes in 2018 and I think we'll get a virtual console like in like late 2018 or like mid 2018. Um, Sakan10 says, did, did Namco Bandai confirm that they're bringing more games to the Switch? Yes, Bandai Namco did confirm that they're bringing more. It's, it's Bandai Namco, not Namco Bandai. But anyway, um, yes, Bandai Namco did confirm that they're bringing more games to the Switch. They did. Um, they said that they're going to bring they're going to bring game after game. We're going to announce game after game. That was actually their own words. Um, Trickstars says um, FE Switch battle cutscenes are about to look beautiful. Absolutely. Um, Double G Four says I need a new Kid Icarus game like Uprising. Absolutely, I'd love to see Kid Icarus like Uprising too. Uh, Rigo Romero, do you think Nintendo will do good in China? When both Sony and Microsoft don't do well, um, we'll have to see, man. We don't even know when they're going to get into the Chinese market, so we'll see. I think they probably have a better chance because the Switch is portable. Um, at B, is it at, at B says, it would be awesome if you could use the Wii U pad for the Switch when it's stocked. It wouldn't be awesome. Don't even, don't even, don't even bring that up, dude. <laughs> like, that would be more confusion. Just let the Wii U rest in peace, bro. Like, let it rest in peace. Don't try to newfangle in. I mean, bro, look, bro, look, 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 look. Do you really want to confuse customers? Do you really want to confuse customers between these two devices? Look at this, man. Look at this. Look how much smaller and more sleek this is. Don't confuse people. Don't be like, oh, well, you dock your Switch, then you can put out the Wii U gamepad, and maybe you can, you're going to have people trying to put their Wii U gamepad into the dock and saying why why doesn't the dock fit like the, the the wii u gamepad don't no man no 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 just let it rest in peace i see these people trying to say sit here and say bring back the wii u gamepad no just it, if you want to play wii u go play wii u there's a lot of great games on the system go play it nintendo does not need any more confusion they do not need confusion with the wii u gamepad no do not try to i don't want them spending r d on trying to fangle in that technology into the switch switch is new it is different it's a clean break from wii u just cut it off man it's over it's over it's over it's over <laughs> it's done it's done it's done um just got home now i can watch absolutely man heck yeah um imagine imagine if bandai namco would bring tekken 7 to nintendo's Tekken 7 Nintendo Switch Edition. I don't think they really need to bring Tekken 7 to Nintendo Switch. They already have Pokemon Tournament that's selling well. Am, am I going to get the South Park game? No, I'm not going to get the South Park game. Trickstar says Switch is swinging in JRPGs next year. It's got some good art JRPGs this year, too. Dual Otaku. Is Travis Returns No More Heroes a sequel or a spinoff? I thought I'd cover this extensively. It's somewhere in between that. It's not a sequel. It's not really a spinoff. It's just kind of its new, it's, it's, its new thing. Um, Ubisoft believes that Mario Plus Rabbids is a very successful game for the Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, they, it's actually, they said it's the best-selling third-party game for the Switch right now. Um, thanks for answering questions. No problem. Put some more questions in. I'm not done. I'm not really anywhere near done. So put some more questions in, guys. Um, do you think that Activision will make more games on the Nintendo Switch? Uh, yes, eventually. Do you think Mario Odyssey will be too short? No, it won't. <laughs> Um, I don't know how to say your name, dude, but I'm just going to call you Reza. Jose, did you play Front Mission series? Yes, I played the Front Mission series. I actually like it. I played the old school ones. Um, Double G4, Star Fox Assault HD. Mm, how about a new Star Fox that's not relying on gamepad stuff? Travis X again is going to be another seller for the Nintendo Switch. Absolutely. What is more likely, Undertale or Earthbound 3 on the Nintendo Switch? Uh, Undertale. Um, hey, hey, Captain Industry. I'm gonna have to block you for posting the links like that, bro. No links in the chat like that, homie. You can you're more than welcome to talk on the YouTube chat though. But yeah, no links, no links for like stuff like that. Um Left Alive coming to the Switch. Uh no, that's gonna be a that's Sony did some that's a deal with Sony. So no. Dude, how much would Capcom versus SNK kill if it was on Nintendo Switch? If they kept the old style, it would be perfect fit and outsell Marvel vs. Capcom Marvel vs. Capcom easily. Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, they can bring Ace Combat. They're not going to bring Ace Combat. The director talked like a, like a D-bag. Um, T-Dude, uh, what if Nintendo goes dude bro and making Urban Champion Urban Champion for the Nintendo Switch? LOL. Yeah, good LOL at the end of the day because that's not going to happen. Rambo 4, OJ, if Switch is a hit in China, is it over for Sony and Microsoft? No, absolutely not because America and Europe love, well, Europe, Europe and America love Sony and Microsoft, they'll always sell steady. So no, absolutely not. 
Um, I personally need a new Donkey Kong game on Switch. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, man. That'd be cool. Give me one second, guys. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Error loading my own channel? Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay. Um, I envy your life, brother. Would you ever go back to the private sector? Um, unless I absolutely 100% have to. Um, but I wouldn't say envy my life right now. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm trying to do my best. Um, but thank you. I do appreciate that. But um, no, man. I'm not trying to go back to the private sector. I'm not trying to go back to the corporate world. It sucks. It sucks, and I hate it. Um, I'm Roadhouse. I know not too many people will care, myself included, but I will ask. OJ, how strange do you think it is that Minecraft, Nintendo Switch Edition, will have the optional DLC Halo matchup pack? You know what? I didn't get around to talking about that. Um, I don't think it's strange because Microsoft actually almost put Halo on a Nintendo system. I think back like in 2000... <sighs> Five or two thousand four, something like that. Mac, when back when Matt Casamassina was at IGN, he actually showed off a, a working demo build of Halo on the DS. So, so Microsoft was very close to putting Halo on the DS, and if they did, it would have sold like crazy. Uh, but Microsoft also put Viva Pinata, which is Microsoft's own franchise. They put that on the DS as well. So it's not really crazy seeing a Microsoft IP on a Nintendo system. So, so yeah, man. Are you getting Seasons of Heaven? I need to know more about the game first. Uh, my ultimate dream is Taki, Taki versus Sheik. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, I want to see a new um, Chad YouTube says I want to see a new Animal Crossing. Yeah, dude, that'd be nice, man. Um, is Seasons Heaven a lot even alive? I think so. They just haven't really gotten any new updates. Um, I don't know if it's a dead project. We shouldn't say that. They haven't canceled it or anything. Where is Time Splitters? I do not know where that franchise is. Who's who does Time Splitters again? Forgot who does Time Splitters. Um, but yeah, I have no clue where Time Splitters is. But I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of shooters out there for you to play, right? So whether we get a Time Splitters or not, that'd be cool. Whatever. I'm gonna relax a little bit, guys. Good questions. Keep them coming. Keep the questions coming, guys. Keep the questions coming. Near Automata on Switch? Uh, probably not. Uh, not at this point. Microsoft really loves Nintendo for some reason. It's not that they love Nintendo. It's just that, I mean, it's just another company that, I mean, they can work with here and there. Microsoft is bigger than Nintendo and Sony combined. Free Radical? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I just forgot who. Yeah, Nier Automata might be a, might be a console exclusive. Might be. Final Fantasy VII Unreal Unreal on Switch needs to be confirmed. Um, it doesn't need to be confirmed. We don't even know. If, <laughs> when was the last time we even saw that game? I don't know if it needs to be confirmed yet, dude. One step at a time. Mash Mash D says, "Wave is Wave Race dead? I hope not. It might be dead." Ben, where's the baby today? Uh, Mister interrupting you. It, it, it's mad funny. Um, she's at the fair. She's at the county fair right now, and so that's where she's at. But she might she might come back at any point. So. Uh, they left a while ago. They left about, they left more than an hour ago. So, so they might be back, you know, interrupt me. But yeah, I've pretty much gotten used to my daughter interrupting me. I'm actually working on some, uh, some pretty cool art too for my channel. So look forward to that. Look forward to some cool art potentially with my daughter in there. So, so you guys should uh, just look forward to that. I, it's, a, it's a surprise. Um, Marina. Hey, Marina. What's up? OJ, how do you feel about MMOs? I'm not big on MMOs. Um, but if a big one came to the Switch, I'd support it. Alicio Blanco says, uh, would you like to see Super Mario Sunshine 2, OJ? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. 
Chad YouTube, um, it'd be nice to see Battlefield or COD or um, for the console, but Nintendo got to work on their online side to make it work. Uh, they could do it now if they wanted to, um, but yeah, Nintendo definitely needs to work on their online. 2018, we'll probably see a better online from Nintendo. Um, Mark Bryant says, Free Radical made Time Splitters published by um, Ideos, or I don't even know how to say it, but yeah, okay. Um, Nigel, definitely um, not going to answer that question. <laughs> I'm trying to get my, my video flagged. Muhammad, I hope Metroid Prime 4 will be the best looking game on the Switch. Um, I just hope it's a good game. Um, yes, yes, yo, or yes, yon, yes, yo, 84. I said that wrong. Uh, do you think there will be a new iteration of the latest story, one of the games for the Wii? What, what, oh, the last story. Um, not at this point, man. Here, Nobu Sakaguchi, man. He's, he's in the, he's in the, he's in the weird, he's in a weird place right now. Um, is it a room? M? We need a new Eternal Darkness. Mm, we don't need one, but it would be nice. Um, Zach Brown. Um, oh, okay. okay. Okay, to you too. <laughs> Go 816. Will Switch catch up to Xbox One during its lifespan? Who's going to win the holiday this year? Um, that's a good question, Go. Um, Switch will catch Xbox One at some point because Xbox One is not moving fast enough. You, you, can't, you can't take off the whole Japanese market. If Xbox One was selling better in Europe, then I would say no. Like if it was selling anywhere near the PS4 in Europe, then I would say no. But the Switch is actually selling as good as the Xbox One, if not better in Europe at times. It's crushing it in Japan, and it's actually beating it in America. So the Xbox One is kind of getting beat. I mean, sometimes maybe the Switch, it doesn't sell as good in Europe as like the Xbox One sometimes. But for the most part, Switch and PS4 are beating the Xbox One in every single major region. So if it continues to go like this, no. The Xbox, I mean, Switch is definitely going to catch the Xbox One. It's just a matter of you know, when, not if. Um, as far as holiday this year, who's going to win? If Nintendo has the stock, Nintendo's going to win. Nintendo has the biggest games this year. Um, Super Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade, Doom, um, Skyrim, Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2, the double pack, better value. Um, you have just, you just have a slew of games coming. Um, LA Noir also, but like I said, the portability aspect is always big with these games. Um, and all those games are coming to the Switch. Fire Emblem Warriors, that's going to be on the Switch. Um, all the games are just released now. People are going to be buying like Xenoverse 2 later. People are going to be buying Pokken later when they get more money because people are spending crazy amounts of money. Nintendo has some of the best digital offerings on the eShop in terms of exclusives and also timed exclusives. And just uh, like I said, why would you even want an indie game on any other system but the Switch? Like what's the point of having an indie game stuck on your PC or your TV? I mean, I know some people like to play just games at home and I get it, but... If you have the option of an indie game that's not going to be graphically enhanced a lot or really at all on like a PC compared to like a Nintendo Switch or like a PS4, what's the point? It's almost useless. I mean, like, why would you buy an indie system or sorry, an indie game on a different system? So Nintendo's, Nintendo's going to have a monopoly on the indies. They're going to have uh, great first party content. So I think Nintendo, if they have the stock, they win this holiday season. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, I took a while to answer that question. Good question, though. Uh, TSS2, which one of these games would work? Would you rather see a sequel to Super Mario Sunshine 2 or Super Mario Galaxy 3? Super Mario Galaxy 3, I, I don't like Sunshine. Um, Mash D says, Final Fantasy 7 will be on the PS5. It might be on the PS6. Ben G says, you think Nino Kuni 2 is coming to the Switch? Level 5 is making it literally only a PS4 game. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's also coming to PC as well. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's coming to the Switch, to be honest. Fly Guy Parks says, what up, OJ? What up, Fly Guy Parks? How's it going, man? Thanks for coming out to the stream. Um, Armando Manager says, when do you think they will show the first glimpse of Metroid Prime 4? Uh, either late this year or early next year. Marina says, LOL. <laughs> LOL, Marina. Um, Tidu says, fun fact, Pokemon Tournament sold through 41% of its initial shipment in Japan. Hmm. Seems a little bit low. It seems like they're they expecting for it to sell more if it only sold through 41%. Um... Kanye, Kanye 2020, this man's looking for Conway to run for president, that man needs to, man needs to run on a treadmill first, but anyway, <laughs> let's get, <laughs> do you think the VC is dead, um, no, 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 I don't think the VC is dead, we're going to be getting uh, virtual console games that have online play, and Nintendo has the Super Nintendo Classic, and they're doing the arcade archives, so no, um, um, D Desbot Whale, honest question: Is your girlfriend white skinned? My fiance, no, she's not white skinned. Um, no, I, is she white? No, she's not. Um, Avatar Renji, if Platinum Games is working on Bayonetta three, 
would it be a Switch exclusive? Um, probably. Uh, but not like there's anything wrong with having a white girlfriend if you want to. I don't care what color anybody's girlfriend or boyfriend or who you date. If you're a boy dating a boy, girl dating a girl. I don't care. I don't care about any of that. I, people should date and be with whoever they want. That's my stance. That's player essence's stance on dating and everything. That's my advice to everyone. Date whoever you want. I don't care what they are. Date whoever you want. Humans. Date whoever you want. <laughs> um, whatever color they are, it doesn't matter. Date the person. Date the person, not the color. Um, OJ, would you like Tokyo Mirage Sessions FB on the Switch? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hold up. Let me go get my baby real quick, guys. You guys know when you guys drop a hot game in the chat. Bro, your boy got to talk about it. Such a, such a lovely, such a lovely game, and only hindered, only hindered by the gamepad that, can you even see the game if it's behind the game? <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> only hindered by the gamepad. Oh, Tokyo Mirage Session, such a nice game. And then like when you open it up, I have the special edition too, but it's, it's boxed up in there. But um, when you, when you open it up, it has that nice like spiral um, disc art on there. Such a good game. Absolutely love this game. It's really cool. It's really good. It's just some issues here and there, man. But I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I absolutely want that on the Switch. I, I would, that would be my, that would be the game that I play so much would be Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It, it would be such a great Switch game. Yes, yes, Alicio. Yes, 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 yes. I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I think it's a great game. But. Um, but yeah, man. If Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 sucks so much, why did you get all the achievements? Because I'm a silly individual. Because let me tell you something about OJ back in the day. All right, let me tell you guys something about that. OJ back in the day didn't have a daughter. Um, OJ back in the day didn't have uh, um, a house to pay for. OJ back in the day did not have all of this that you guys see. Live streaming like this wasn't around. OJ didn't have four videos they had to do a day. OJ didn't have 100 people watching him. And I'm referring to myself in the third person, guys. Only for this story. Not because I'm narciss narcissistic or anything like that. I didn't have all those things, okay? Your boy OJ back in the day didn't have all that. OJ had his 360, his controller, and time. <laughs> and limited amount of funds. So when you bought a game... You played that game, and you beat that game, and you got everything in that game. So that's the reason why I got all the achievements, because back in the day, that's just how things were. <laughs> so, so that's that. Um, so yeah, man. Um, Super Ja Mario. Ja Mario? I probably said that wrong. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has, has no Wolverine, Cable, Sentinel, or Magneto. Enough said. Absolutely. Um, what's the, what's the worst game you have played on the Switch? The worst game that I've played on the Switch? Actually, pretty much all the games that I've played have been pretty good. I wouldn't say there is an actual worst game, but the game that I dislike the most out of all the games that I have is Has Been Heroes, but Has Been Heroes is a good game, but I dislike that game the most out of all the games that I have. Has Been Heroes is the game that I dislike the most, but it's a good game. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, Pandora's Tower needs to have a sequel on the Switch. That's not happening. Where's your Sony water? I'm out. I gotta go get some more. Resident Evil, Resident Evil Rev or Resident Evil 7? I hate Resident Evil 7, so Resident Evil Revelations for me. Do you think third-party support will be on the Switch? Will, how well do you think third-party support will be on the Switch by Christmas 2018? We already know all the... Oh, Christmas 2018. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be 50 to 60% of the games that get announced will be on Switch. Japan, I would say 70 to 80%, maybe even 90%. Uh, but by, by, the, by that... Yeah, I'd probably say like 90% by that... Uh, by, Christmas 2018, and then for American developers, Western developers, maybe 50%. Um, hey, OJ, would you like to see a new 2D Mario on the Switch? Not really. Um, what, what collections would you like to see on the Switch? I want Bioshock and Dark Souls. Uh, I don't really care for collections too much, but if I was to have one, um, I would like to see a Xeno, Xeno Saga. Uh, Xeno Saga collection. Um, yeah, that's what I want. Xeno Saga. The PS2 games. Where are they? Where are my babies at? Where are they at? They're down. They're over there somewhere. Yeah, Xeno Saga. Xeno Saga collection on the Switch. That would probably, that'd blow away. No offense to, you know, your collections there, but a Xeno Saga collection on the Switch would blow away Bioshock and Dark Souls, bro. <laughs> uh, 
uh, uh, did you see Rerez prediction video for the Switch for Switch for 2018 failing? Man, his predictions are based on what ifs and unknowns. What Nintendo is going to do for 2018? Rerez has not been right on a single thing with the Switch. He predicted that the Switch was going to fail. That it was going to be DOA pretty much at launch. He pretty much said that. He predicted that there's not going to be any third-party games on the Switch because the file sizes are too big. That there's not the big enough cartridges. Rerez is a clickbaiting Nintendo Switch person at this point, and he's too. He's not man enough, and he's too bold and too cocky to just admit he was wrong. Um, there's guys out there like the Dreamcast guy, you know, who's a big YouTuber, and he made a video saying I was wrong about the Switch. We've seen many other YouTubers make videos saying I was wrong about the Switch, about the success. But Rerez continues to push his narrative because he just doesn't want to admit that he's wrong. He just doesn't want to admit that he's wrong. He's been wrong about the Switch since launch. He was wrong in our debate. He's been wrong about the Switch since launch. And he's too egotistical. Not that he's a bad guy. Not that his channel's bad. Not saying that. He makes some great content. But when it comes to the Switch, he's been wrong 100%. He doesn't like the system. He constantly tells people to not like to play games on other places. So what can you expect from him? He's making, it's a clickbait. He wants to make revenue. He knows that he can make this video in September. And then by 2018, if it rolls around, even if the Switch is a success, oh, well, I made that video a long time ago. I still made all my money off of it. It's, it's clickbait. It's clickbait. It's not based on anything that's actually real or happening. It's based on unknowns and, you know, his stuff. It's the same clickbait videos that he made before the Switch launched. And that he was wrong, and he still hasn't made a video saying that he's wrong. He just continues. So everything that's going forward because of his ego is going to be clickbait when it comes to Switch, his predictions and stuff like that. So it's his opinion, you know, but it's clickbait. At the end of the day, it's clickbait because he still hasn't admitted that he was wrong about everything that he said about the Switch so far. I mean, there's been very little he's been right, you know. Little old me YouTuber absolutely bodied him in the debate that we had. And many of the stuff that I said, I think even before the Switch launched, was right. <laughs> you know, you know, and I know I was wrong initially about the Switch, but once I started seeing things, obviously, I started changing my tune, and in that debate that we had, it was pretty much what I was thinking versus what he was thinking, and based on what developers are going to do, and so far, Switch is winning, so I, I wouldn't pay much attention to, uh, to Rerez's videos on Switch. When it comes to other stuff outside of Switch, he's very good, but when it comes to Switch, not so good. Uh, Retro Studio, uh, Rambo says, uh, OJ, uh, Rambo 4 says, OJ, what is Retro Studios working on? I have no idea. Um, uh, Dragon Chi 26, OJ, do you think we will see improvement in how many games get localized here from Japan? We are currently seeing a number of Japanese games that are coming to Switch, but not in North America. Um, yeah, we'll see an improvement. Don't worry about that, dude. We're already seeing like Attack on Titan. We're already seeing quite a number of games. So yeah, they'll definitely, they'll definitely come. We'll just relax, dude. Um, Super Mario, Jam Super Jamario, F-Zero Switch, AX plus GX, I have no idea what all that, you talk, talk about the old ones, just make a new F-Zero, um, Busy Mike, what race is your girl, black, uh, don't worry about the race of my girl, what does it matter, <laughs> um, who the heck says white skin, I don't know, <laughs> what does it matter, maybe my, maybe my, my fiance, maybe she, she claims maybe multiple races, who knows, you know, um, <laughs> I don't mind that, but just, like, there's no need to, as far as, like, skin, like, who cares about skin color and all that? Um, I want to marry a horse. That's why I said people. Um, what, what, what would be the first couple of NES or Super NES games that you'd like to see introduced in the Nintendo Online subscription? I don't really care, to be honest. Just whatever. Um... I hope we get, uh, TMS Tokyo Mirage Sessions 2 on the Switch, hopefully. Have I played Cave Story? I've played a little bit of it, but I still need to play more. Um, why do you keep hitting on a Wii U gamepad when the Wii U gamepad is the best controller of all time? Busy Mike, I need to tell you something, bro. The Wii U gamepad is not the best controller of all time. It's too big and it doesn't last long enough. The best controller of all time, I would say, is, to me, it's either this one. That's the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. HD Rumble is amazing. Or it's either this controller right here. That's the Xbox Elite. Has a D-pad that you can take off and put on a new a new D-pad. You can take off the sticks and put on better ones. It has triggers on here. You can get half. Like, so if you want to have like not all the way down, for example, like look at this. If you want to go all the way down like a full button press, you can do it. But if you want things to be a little bit like tighter, so you don't, so it takes less time. 
There we go. Like that. And it's like it's more like a button press, just like this one right here. Same amount of time, so you can actually shoot faster. This is an amazing controller if you're into Xbox games. Or I'd even say, whew, a little bit dusty. Or I'd say this one right here. This lasts 80 hours. This last let, let me let me repeat that. This lasts 80 hours. 80 hours on a single charge. Even with even with some of Nintendo's most intense games, like Xenoblade Chronicles X on the on the on the Wii U. Eight hours. 40 hours. Still uses a still uses a battery pack. So this one's out. This one's out. So 40 hours versus 80 hours. One of these two. <laughs> One of these two. Although this one's pretty good too. Very light, very comfortable. But it's not the elite. And this one's good too. And this controller. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, are you gonna get, are you gonna stream Xenoverse two? Yes, my copy of Xenoverse two is coming in the mail. Shout out to my boy Coloco. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel, Coloco. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's get this man subscribed right now. You guys, um, subscribe to my boy Coloco. He's going to be coming on. Um, he's going to be coming on the podcast more. Um, let me look up his channel. So shout out to my boy Coloco. We're trying to get him to 400 subscribers. He's at 300. So shout outs to him. And you guys, make sure you subscribe to his channel. My boy hooked me up with a copy of Xenoverse 2. So I'll be streaming because of Coloco. Your boy's a little tight on funds this month. So uh, my boy Coloco got, hooked me up with an extra copy that he got. So um, you guys, please um, please subscribe to him when you get a chance. Have you finished Samus Metroid Returns? Yes, I have actually beat Samus Metroid Returns. Very, very good game. Very good game. Yo, shout outs. Yo, you got the bells, homie. You got the bells. Shout outs to my boy. Who is that? Who is this here? Shout outs to my boy, my boy Jason Level with the sponsor. Thank you so much, man. We got three sponsors already. You know what? We're probably going to have to give away that code. I didn't expect there to be more sponsors. We haven't hit our subscription code, but I will give away a PC copy. I will give away one PC copy of Steam World Dig because of that extra sponsor. Now, if we get another one, I'll probably give away the Switch code. But we got three sponsors already. Yo, that, that's hype, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Everyone in the chat, brand new headband. My boy is sporting the headband in the chat. Jason Level, shout outs, man. Thank you so much for the sponsor, dude. That really helps. That really helps me bring more content to you guys. Obviously, the more sponsors we get, the more live streams and awesome stuff that we can have. And my forehead is shining because it's kind of hot in my room. Give me a second, guys. I, um, let me get some more water and let me turn on the air because we're going to be going for some long. I, I got to go longer. Now that we got another sponsor, I got to go longer. So thank you so much, Jason. Um, everyone in the chat, show them some love. And guys, keep your questions. Keep them coming. We got 150 people watching. Um, uh, definitely sit tight real quick. Let me go get some water. Let me turn on the air in my room so we can keep this thing cranking. We're having a lot of fun. I think this is a great discussion. And this is exactly what I want to do for you guys as far as live streaming content goes. This is all about you guys as far as one-on-one -on -one interaction so you guys can get to know me and everything so and get to know about gaming and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, man, you guys sit tight. I'll be right back. You guys like my custom capris that I'm wearing? They're custom, they're custom skinny, skinny sweatpant capris. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Whew, let me pull that, that jutsu. 
Pull that strength jutsu to keep this thing going. Whew, okay, I'm good. What a beautiful chair. You like my chair? DX Racer! Yeah, too expensive. Don't buy one. Bring us some Sony water, baby. Shout out to Jason Level. Give this man some love in the chat. Chair stream. Shout outs. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Jason. I do appreciate the sponsorship. If any of you guys also want to sponsor, it helps out. The, it helps out. Obviously, there's going to be um, a sponsor chat exclusive. So I'm probably going to put up a, what you'll see in this blank space. We're probably going to have a sponsor chat only as well. So if you do sponsor, your, your chat's going to show up actually on the stream as well, man. So awesome stuff there. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me try to... Uh, uh, Master Aqua says, sorry, OJ, I only, spo I only sponsor Sony. Dude, you're already on Patreon, so you're good. <laughs> Basketball games for the Vita. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, all right, so I think I'm right here. So... Let me go back up. Spawncast tonight, OJ. If I can, I'll be on the Spawncast. If I can, I prefer digital triggers. I prefer digital triggers as well. I don't like analog triggers. I like digital triggers, but it's all good. Uh, OJ, Rambo4 says, OJ, when do you think we'll get Captain Toad 2? Um, I'd probably say like 2019. I think they'll, I think they'll do it tw like 2018 or 2019. Um, how to play Overwatch on PC from your couch slash bed. Left Joy-Con and left hand wireless mouse and the right hand use Joy, Joy, what? Joy 2 key to assign keys to Joy-Con buttons and done. I, don't, I have no idea what you're trying to do, dude. Super Jamario. Hey, OJ, have you checked out uh, COOV-100 on the Brook Wii U Switch controller converter? You can use the Xbox. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, I haven't done that yet. There's no need for me to do it. I just like using my Pro Controller or... Or my Joy Cons. Okay, you gotta run, T dude. All right, man, take it easy, dude. Definitely gonna have some fun with the live stream. Definitely having fun. Jason Level, any ideas um, on the story to Champions Ballad? I have no idea. I have no idea, and I don't want to know. I don't want to be spoiled at all. Top three game of the year contenders so far. Good, good question, Trickstar. Uh, my top three game of the year contenders are um, The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Um, SteamWorld Dig 2, and um, maybe near on the PlayStation 4, or Metroid Samus Returns. One of those, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But right now, like, <laughs> that I've played, Legend of Zelda is by far the winner. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, we have to wait and see on uh, Mario Odyssey. We have to wait and see on that. And, Xeno, and, and Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I think by the end of the year, there'll be three games. This is the, the three games that I think it'll be. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Super Mario Odyssey, and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. For me, it's going to be one of those three games that win it. So, it'll be, a, it'll be a good race, man. We'll see. We'll see. Bring us Sony water. <laughs> is water... Is, it, it, what, what color is water? It's clear, right? I don't think clear is a color, is it? Desbot says, I like, the, I like the fact that even though there are so many questions, you actually try to answer all of the questions. I'm doing my best. Josh Wagner says, go Seahawks. Go Seahawks. My Niners suck, like always. DBS crossover One Piece. Sure, man. Um, X, X less flame. Still need to get a spring protector for my Switch, but eight euros are too much for something like that. Yeah, man. Um, go 816. I do the same thing. Custom, custom Capris. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Um, games... Time gamer each what I have okay is that German? That's German. I think I don't know. Mojo Jojo, what's up, Mojo Jojo? And uh, Nef one eight. Are you still able to receive Patreon funds, or is YouTube Gaming sponsor the way to go? Um, 
I'm still able to do Patreon funds. YouTube sponsor is something that integrates it a little bit easier for me and gets you guys some cool stuff like Twitch. So you can do Patreon, but some people don't like Patreon. Some people don't like Patreon or some people want to do both. You want to do Patreon and have the benefits than also the YouTube sponsor stuff because there's stuff that I can only do with YouTube sponsor that I can't do on Patreon. There's stuff that I can do on Patreon that I can't do with YouTube sponsor. And all this stuff is optional. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is like you have to do it. So I'm going to offer as many ways for you guys as possible for for people if they want to support the channel because I'm putting out a lot of work for you guys. I mean, I, I don't expect anything, obviously. I just, I would just hope that you guys watch my videos and like my videos, but if you want to help out, you know, um, you can pick what you want to do, kind of give you guys options as far as how you want to support. Uh, YouTube sponsor is cool because um, it's right then and there. It's right there on YouTube. You know what you're dealing with. Uh, you get the emojis and the more sponsors that I get, the more emojis and cool stuff we're going to have on the channel. So, so yeah, man. Um, Greenbot donated $2 saying, what game series do you want to have back okay whoa it disappeared before i can even finish reading it uh greenbot says uh two dollars says what game series do you want to have back that is dead for the nintendo switch uh xeno saga xeno saga xeno saga xeno saga that's pretty much dead right i want to have that back so please xeno saga if you're not counting like the whole xeno blade and all that continuation you know if you're not counting all that xeno saga thank you so much for the two dollar donation i think you already donated two dollars earlier didn't you you might have but anyway thank you so much for the donation I do appreciate that. I did hear my daughter, so my daughter might come running in at any moment, guys. But the stream will go on. You guys know this. Uh, Xenoblade 2 Pro Controller. <sighs> wow, Xenoblade 2. Oh, heck yeah, that's funny. OJ, are you getting Sonic? Probably. I'll probably get a review code. Hey, do you guys think uh, Star Fox 2 is underwhelming? I haven't played it yet, um, Jason Level. Um, but yeah, I've been hearing some stuff, some reviews and stuff. But it's like a 20-something-year-old game. Obviously, we, we're looking at it from... You know, IGN was looking at it from like 2017 standards, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about Star Fox 2? Let me know in the chat. Also, keep your questions coming. I need to catch up on the questions, though. Um, Solar 7, why is Mario Odyssey so fun? I swear these employees are going to kick me out for playing it five times straight. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I, I, need to head, I need to head out to Best Buy to see if I can play the game. Uh, Benji says, what will come first? DK Tropical Freeze Port or New DK? Um, hmm. Tropical Freeze Port. I think Tropical Freeze Port would come first before a new DK. Steam World, Mojo Jojo says, Steam World Dig? Boy. King Ice, basketball game for the Vita? Uh, what basketball game for the Vita, King Ice? Trickstar says, Persona 5, Nier, and Zelda for me. Oh, I forgot Persona 5. Yes, Persona 5 is in my top three game of the year contender. Sorry. Take out, like, Metroid Samus Returns and put in Persona 5. Persona 5 is definitely in there. Oh, no. Or take out Nier and put in Persona 5. Persona 5 is there. Persona 5 is 100% there. Where's your ninja outfit, OJ? If we get another sponsor, I'll put on my I'll put on my ninja outfit. If we get one more sponsor, I'll put on a ninja outfit. And I'll give away, and I'm gonna give away a PC code for Steamworld Dig too. One more sponsor, I'll, I'll I'll put on the I will put on my my cape, my uh my jacket. <laughs> game of the year, Bayou Billy. <laughs> Heck yeah, man! The real game of the year, Nat Two, baby. Um, why do I prefer digital triggers? Because I don't care about analog. I'm not big on shooting games and having to pull slowly or racing games. I don't care. Like, so digital trigger, so analog triggers don't really work for the games that I like the most. I just rather just press the button and it shoot. I'm not trying to pull slowly or you know drive a car, or accelerate. I don't play Forza or anything like that. So, so yeah, man. Microsoft needs to make a comeback. Microsoft can just do what they're doing and just be fine. To be honest, they have too much money, or they have so much money. Uh, Nero says, player says, what do you think um, our chances to get Roy and Ike and Fire Emblem Warriors? I talked about that earlier. I think they're actually somewhat good. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not putting too much stock into what the developers said today or what we heard. Uh, they just said two or three weeks ago that there's no deal, that there's no plans for DLC. And then they had the five Kage, five Kage Summit or whatever, and then there was DLC. So, um, so I'd say 50%. Uh, Muhammad, according to Wikipedia, the color of water is very, very, very light blue. Okay, well, there you go. Very, very light blue. Uh, well, the ocean's blue, right? So, I mean, but I'm just looking at, you know, my cup and obviously my eyes, there's light, there's different lights. So your eyes per portray a different color than what you see. Um, so, yeah, I'm not even sure if my eyes can discern the color. All I know is that our bodies are 70% water, so we need to drink it. Um, FIFA 18 um, got cracked already. Okay, FIFA 18 got cracked. Shout out to King Hunter for the subscription. Thank you so much. Welcome to the village. Do appreciate that. 
Um, hopefully you enjoy your stay. And everyone in the chat, please make King Hunter feel welcome to the village. Um, is it Young Z P PC? Huh? Or Young PC? Yo, what up? Are you excited for the Kirby game and the, the T-O-S-H game? I'm excited for Kirby a little bit, yeah. Um... Uh, David Pox, uh, clear is clearly not a color. And I, yeah, I think I said that. But yeah, I, I'm behind on the chat here, guys. So you said that last time, OJ. What did I say last time? Remind me. I don't remember what I said. Um, OJ, you doing the spawn cast? I think I talked about that already. Um, exactly. Just got to pay attention to the no plans, but plans change all the time. Exactly. Oh, we're not going to do Roy and Ike till Fire Emblem Warriors 2. Oh, the game sold five or four million copies? Okay. <laughs> hey, Roy and Ike. Come on out. <laughs> oh, crap. We sold 600,000 copies of Fire Emblem Warriors in, in, a, in, in a couple weeks? Okay, yeah. How about some DLC with Rory and Ike? <laughs> um, <laughs> Marina, no plans means not coming. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, is it Vol Volne? Volne Palace? I probably said that wrong. Sorry about that, dude. I really hope we get new, we get a few more obscure GameCube games for the Switch. I'd love to play Custom Robo on the go. Absolutely, or a new Custom Robo would be cool. Um, NBA Street uh, 1, 2, 3 for Vita. I don't know why he's talking about Vita, King Guys. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? First gaming experience you remember? Yes, my first gaming experience that I remember. That's a good question. I actually talked about this. My first gaming experience that I remember is that when me and my family, we lived in um, um, our Oregon. We were living in Oregon at the time. We had brown carpet, uh, just like kind of like the brown carpet we have <laughs> that I have here. We had brown carpet. I think it was a two-story like condo-ish type of thing. And I remember playing Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. I think I was maybe about two years old. We moved from Los Angeles to Oregon, and I remember I was about maybe two years old. This is very. This is like my earliest memories is of my brother, first of all, towering over me because my brother is six years older than me. I just remember this really tall figure that would always pick me up and put me down. And that was not my mom, was, or not my dad. <laughs> uh, he'd always pick me up and like, and like put a controller in my hand and tell me to play a game. And those are my earliest memories that I can just think of what was going on. It's still very foggy, but that's what I can remember. And I still need to focus too. Um, but I just remember playing Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle um, with my brother and we had brown carpet and there were stairs and I would climb up the stairs like with my on my like on my um like crawling and I'd get up there to play Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle with my brother and I remember being kind of scared of it but it was still fun to play um and I just remember my brother just being amazing I just remember my brother just really helping me and like put, sitting me on his lap and him playing the game but me being right there with him um those those are my earliest memories of like gaming was was that and I cherish those those very foggy memories that I have of my brother and me playing games when we were little now from three years old and up like when we moved to the Central Valley I remember more of stuff like playing like super uh, super v-ball with my brother um, playing four player games with my sisters and my brother um, I remember I remember all that but those are my earliest memories was Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle in the 80s in the late 80s, like 1989, uh, with my brother. So yeah, I cherish those memories. <laughs> I had to think about it too. I had to really focus in to, to get all the details. But yeah, those are my earliest memories. Mm, let's see here. OJ, what, do you, what new game is Sakurai working on? I think he said he wasn't on Smash. I don't know if he said that he wasn't on Smash, but um, maybe he's doing Kid Icarus. We'll see. Um... Oh, you went the Yoshi game? Oh, okay. I'm not really excited for Yoshi, but I'm excited for Kirby. Uh, that game was so good. I love Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. Yeah, man, it was a fun game. It was a fun game, Marina. Back in the day, ooh, did somebody say Knack? <laughs> Knack is overrated. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even highly rated. Sorry, I haven't said anything in chat for a while. I was uh, busy playing Ace Combat 4. Great game, by the way. Recommend any PS2 owner. Yeah, Ace Combat's good. Uh, Mark Bryant says, uh, gotta go, OJ. Great stream, buddy. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much, Mark. I do appreciate it. Everyone in the chat, give Mark some love. First sponsor on the channel, so I do appreciate that. Um, Solar7 says, Armando, manager, knack is not good enough to be overrated. No one, no one plays it. <laughs> yeah. All right, take it easy, Mark. 
Master Aqua says, OJ, I want to buy you an E3 ticket next year if you could make it. Um, you wouldn't need to buy me an E3 ticket, um, and I could probably get you one if you want to go. Well, I'd have to have 50,000 subscribers by then. I don't know if I'll have that many by then. You never know. Um, but uh, we, we might not have to buy tickets. If I have enough subscribers, then, um, then I can probably just get you in for free. OJ, another, um, another OJ's ninja story? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh... Um, howdy there, folks. What's up, Killer Phobia? Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle for Switch, please. That might be coming. We'll have to wait and see on that one, man. Have to wait and see on that one. You never know. I think it might come. I think it might come. About to see. Um, when is Persona Q's 2's release date? Um, I don't think they said anything as far as Persona Q2, so I don't know. Um, I have no idea. Um, when Persona Q2 is going to be coming or anything like that. Um, but I'm probably going to be streaming today, guys. Uh, I already had three videos uh, go up, so I'll probably do two more tonight. But yeah, we're going to be putting in work on the weekends as well, just so you guys have content to watch and play. I'm definitely going to be going into Overdrive. Definitely want to get this channel up and going. Um, want to get you guys excited about content coming to the channel. So look forward to more um, live streams and everything. Um... Probably tonight, I'll probably do another live stream, like video gaming. And then I'll probably do, uh, like I said, a couple more videos as well. Because, like, you know, like I said, I want to keep, keep, the, keep the channel rolling. Um, let's see here. I'm just looking through as far as the videos today. Yeah, you guys are watching them, so thank you so much. Make sure you check out my channel. I did three videos today. One of them was a re-upload, though, because I had a false copyright claim. Um... The, 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 who's, who, the Silent Saint says nobody's going to see this comment, so I'm going to say that 75M is, the, is a good stage in Smash Brothers. Well, we all see this comment now. <laughs> is, that a good, is that a good one in Smash Brothers? I don't know about that. My, my daughter coming. Anime, what's up? I'm, oh, wow, you got a fidget spinner. Come show us some fidget spinner real quick. <laughs> got a fidget spinner. Let's see, let's see you spin the fidget before you go. Ugh. Wow, what is that? It's a fidget spinner. Yeah? Yeah. Did you go to the fair? Yeah, you have I got good... it from the fair. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see this. Let me, let me fidget spin myself. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> my tongue is red. Why is your tongue red? I Y pops. You didn't bring me any? You didn't bring me any? Mm. No? <laughs> it's okay. You got a fidget spinner though. Who got it for you, people? Grandma. Grandma? Mm -hmm. How was the fair? Was it fun? Yeah. yeah, yeah What'd you do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I went to the strawberries. Mm -hmm. What else? I went to the cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you ate some, oh, you ate some food? <laughs> Oh gosh, that kind of stick. You ate some food? Yeah. Say, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. And I ate pizza. You ate pizza? Yeah. You gotta go run on the treadmill. You gonna run on the treadmill? Gonna, gonna go run outside? Burn some cows? Mm. Alright. Okay, maybe. Can you close my door for me? Okay. I'll be, I'll be done in a bit. <laughs> oh yeah future hokage yeah <laughs> she's the future hokage <laughs> beast says shout me out please you've been shouted out beast oh she's so cute she is cute she is very awesome she's a funny little she's a funny little girl little ninja she's she is a little ninja future hokage adorable <laughs> super jamar says oj you are blessed i'm blessed to have her she is my pride and my joy she's my future my pride and joy she's a nice little ninja my daughter's cute. Yeah, she's she's better, much better looking than than me. I'll tell you that. Father daughter moment. <laughs> we have all those all the time. If you watch my live streams, she's bound to come in here and do something. They actually banned fidget spinners throughout my entire school district. I have no problem with it. Because <laughs> people will be coming in fidget spinning everything, man. <laughs> like I wouldn't even buy my daughter a fidget spinner. Like she'd been asking for a fidget spinner forever. I'm like, no, I'm not buying you a fidget spinner. Like they're stupid. Why do you want one? She comes home with a fidget spinner. 
<laughs> is she your ninja way? She's my ninja way. <laughs> She's actually the reason why I work so hard on the channel and everything. I just want to create a future to where, you know, when you work for a company, like you work for a corporation, you can't do everything that you want with your children. You can't go out with them everywhere you want. You can't take them to school every single day. You can't do everything. I take my daughter to school every single day. I hold her hand all the way to class. I say bye and I sit there and I wave to her, before, you know, when she goes into her classroom. I pick her up every single day, you know, at 140. Otherwise, I'd be at work if I had a corporate job. Um, so I want to build a future to where I can spend as much time with her, but also, you know, be able to provide for her. So that's why I'm working so hard on this channel, so I can provide for my daughter. And, you know, so she has a roof over her head, you know. Um, without my daughter around, yikes. I'd probably be at my mom's house playing video games and working like, even though I have a college degree. I have two college degrees. Um, I have kinesiology and communication. Um, but without my daughter, I'd probably probably be living with my mom, which is nothing wrong with living with your mom, but I'd probably be living with her, working just some, the easiest job that I can work, probably working like at a gym, working at like the front desk of a gym, um, maybe being like a little bit of training every now and then, personal training, which I still do, but like working for a gym, doing a little bit of personal training, making minimum or a little bit above it, I wouldn't care. And I would just, that would be my life. And I would just play video games. And that's probably what I'd be doing without my daughter. <laughs> I mean, I go out on a date every now and then, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like tie the knot with anyone. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't get engaged or anything like that. Um, so I'm happy that my daughter came here because she's changed. She's made me be a little bit more, um, what would I say? Motivated in life. <laughs> Cause before I had my daughter, it was, it was candy and video games. <laughs> like that was my, where was I working? I was working at, um, I was working at a gym. I was working at the front desk and I was also doing personal training. I was making like a little bit above minimum. I was fine. I was perfect. I was like, well, I don't got to pay rent. <laughs> I was like, I got enough for video games. And I would go to the gym. I'd play basketball all day. I'd work for five hours. I'd play basketball for three hours, okay? I was super thin. If you go back and watch my old videos, like I barely lifted weights. I was super thin. I'd play basketball. I'd shoot the rock. I'd play basketball all day. I'd go to 7-Eleven and buy a big old bag of candy of sour worms. I'd go home, watch anime, eat the whole bag, then I'd play video games till I pass out at 3 a.m. And then I would go to work at 1 p.m. and rinse and repeat for like two years after I graduated college. <laughs> Until I met my fiance. <laughs> that was my routine. <laughs> like, was, I made some videos on YouTube too. Like, but it, I mean, they weren't very good, but <laughs> that was my routine, man. That was my routine. Okay, what what is going on, Beast? I don't I do not know what's going on. My guy, Beast, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to block you, my guy. We're gonna have to Okay, Master Aqua timed him out. Yeah, Master Aqua, we're gonna have to time you out, my guy. My guy's going crazy in the chat. guy's going crazy in the chat oh you were living the gamer life yeah i was living the bachelor and look dude it was so funny because i'd go out on dates like i would meet like a girl i'd go out on dates and they'd be like what do you do for a living i'd be like everything <laughs> i'd be like everything They're like oh really i'd be like yeah everything They're like well what would that consist of i'm like train people work out play basketball I was playing semi-pro football too, for a, a small point. I'm like, I played semi-pro football. I'm like, yeah, eat candy, <laughs> um, watch anime. I didn't say that part. Only when I get to know him. That's like the third or fourth date. Tell him that you watch anime. Um, <laughs> you just stated my current life. <laughs> hey man, enjoy it while you can, dude. Enjoy it while you can. That was the life. But eventually, you gotta. Eventually, you gotta you gotta move past that. But no, enjoy the candy and the video games and the normal job and live with your parents. Enjoy it, man. I'd still do it right now if I could. <laughs> I'd still do it right now if I could. What's up from Moscow, Christopher? Shout outs to Moscow, homie. Thanks for watching, dude. Duel Otaku. If you were a Nintendo character, who would you be? I don't know. Sheik. They're probably my favorite Nintendo character. 
Uh, Neff18 says, is Player Essence a one-man show? Curious if anyone helps you out at all. Um, it's a one-man show. Yeah, it's a one-man show. As far as like the content on the channel, that's a one-man show. Nobody edits my videos for me or anything like that. Although I do have collab uh, collaborators that I work with. I work with Coloco. I work with John from Spawn Wave. I work with... Um, uh, I used to work with M. Andy from McIntyre. Um, I work with Sean Long. He comes on every now and then from Nintendo Enthusiast, the Retro Gaming Tube. Um, I work with Mel, uh, McKay Casanova. Um, so I work, I, I collaborate with other YouTubers, but as far as the content on this channel, yeah, it's a one-man show. Yeah. So yeah, no, no help from actual editing or anything like that. Because I, like, I know like Spawn Wave, he has like an editor, like the guy, I forgot what his name is, but he's a really cool guy. But yeah, oh, only one-man show on, the, on, on, this, on this front. One man show. Um, is Player Essence your full-time job? No, I have another job. I actually do some training as well. Uh, but Player Essence is, I mean, I work as many hours as a full-time job if you're asking about that, yeah. But I also have another job. Um, but I probably work around, probably work around 11 to 12 hours a day on Player Essence. Editing videos, live streams, social media, making funny posts. So yeah, man. Roadhouse, when do you think your next Smash live stream is? Um, I might, I might live stream Smash tonight. I'm not sure. Um. Uh, Reggie Fizume says, "OJ, get a PO box. I live in San Francisco and play, um, um, and there's a place called Japan Town. The whole place is full of ninja stuff. I wanted to send. Okay, I'll definitely get a PO box soon, guys. I'll probably do a PO box probably next week. So I'll definitely, I'll Reggie do that. But Reggie Fizume, shout out to Reggie Fizume in the house." <laughs> So yes, I will definitely get a PO box soon. I I think I've had a couple of people tell me I get a PO box. Um, so yeah, man. Um, did I give a shout out to Kevin Hunter? Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> Solar Seven says, "Please, please stream Mario Kart so Dirt Boy can beat you." <laughs> All right, man. I hope you stream tonight. I need to trade my Robin more. Okay, I'll probably stream tonight at some point. I just gotta, after this live stream here, I'm gonna work on some content for you guys. And then I'll see if we can do a live stream tonight. This guy. My guy, Beast. My guy, Beast. We're gonna have to put you. We're gonna have to put you in another timeout, homie, until you calm down. <laughs> um, I guess sports games are not top on your list, but any faves like NBA Street or the more arcadey ones, perhaps? Yeah, I actually like NBA Street. Um, I like NBA Street a lot. It's one of my favorite sports games. Um, and I like NBA Playgrounds. It's also one of my favorite games on Switch as well. So yeah, I like NBA Playgrounds. Um, uh, relax on the language, man. <laughs> relax on the language. No need to no need to use that type of language, uh, the silent saint, when it comes to iDubs or anybody in the chat, man. <laughs> kids need attention, OJ. <laughs> yeah, kids do need attention. Ghost Pepper says, uh, what's up, OJ? Question, are you and Super Metal, are you and Super Metal Dave still, still what? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Super Metal Dave. I'm cool with Super Metal Dave. Yeah, we're still cool. We're cool. Um, just, you know, as far as what his content, as far as how he was going, it just kind of doesn't line up with what I'm doing, so, so yeah, man. Um, FIFA on Switch is a good game, reviewers are just thrashing it. Yeah, it's missing a lot of features, and online, obviously, you can't play with friends, so reviewers are going to thrash it around a bit, but it plays okay. Uh, the Reza, OJ, play Final Fantasy 3 on the Super NES Mini, and what is your favorite Final Fantasy 3 character? Um, Final Fantasy 3, I think you mean Final Fantasy 6. And my favorite Final Fantasy VI character... Oh gosh, I forgot their names already. Uh, and just Final Fantasy VI. Uh, I can't see the pictures of them. What's the guy with the tank top on? He uses pummel. That guy. He's my favorite. He has like a ponytail. Forgot the names. I played it so long ago.
forgot his name. Terra, you said? Sabin? You guys don't know who I'm talking about? It's like the guy with the... Kind of like the buzz cut. Like white guy with the buzz cut, little ponytail. and He's, he's like the buff guy. He uses pummel. That guy. He's my favorite. Uh, I'm not answering that question, Killer Phobia. <laughs> not answering that question. Okay, Solar says, you know what I'm talking about. You forgot his name. Yeah. Hello, OJ. Are you a fan of Spawn Wave? What do you think of him? I like Spawn Wave. I might actually go on his... I think I've been on the Spawn cast a couple times, but yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, man. OJ, if you could play one game in 2018, what would it be? Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X comes out in twenty eight. It comes out in twenty seventeen, but I like to play that in twenty eighteen too. <laughs> no, one game. I'd probably say like the new Pokemon game if that comes out. Um, or Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, or fi no Fire Emblem. No Fire Emblem. Scratch all that. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Twenty eighteen Fire Emblem. <laughs> Roadhouse. What feature do you guys want on the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront two? For me, it's the diorama mode. A little JK. I want the ship-to-ship -ship battles in space like the old Battlefront 2. Uh, yeah, I don't care about Battlefront. But yeah, what do you guys want to see? Let uh, Roadhouse know in the chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, one more thing. Since Tyson Nuggets um, are done, I never forget. Once you get the 30k subs, I want you to do a parody ninja opening slash title sequence, you know, running with arms back and stuff. Um, definitely. Once, once we can get some more funds and I can get someone to do some filming for me. I'll see if I can do a parody of that type of stuff, man. At some point, I'll definitely do it. I wanted to do a parody of maybe the, um, what's the song? Closer? From Naruto? Like, at the beginning, we're, like, they're in the fields, and then, like, they're all, like, turning around, and then at the end, like, at the very end, it's, like, Shikamaru, and Shikamaru just, like, looks at the camera like that from his back. I wanted to do a parody of that, but I, I would need more people to do that, obviously. <laughs> Sabin or Edgar? I think it is. Is it is it Edgar or Sa yeah? It's one of those two. Sabin or Edgar, as far as the Final Fantasy VI character. Um, Little Witch, um, is it at Academia? Academia? At Academia? Or Days Gone? Well, that's that's the biker stealth game, right? Okay, good picks. Uh, what's your least anticipated game besides Farming Simulator? <laughs> I don't know, least anticipated. That's hard to say, man. There's a lot of great games, so I'm not really, really sure what would be like least anticipated. Like, I don't really seek out games that I'm not interested in, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Oh, and Code Vein, yeah, Code Vein's looking cool. Master, you became a mod. Yep, Master Aqua's been a mod for a little bit now. El Chupacabra, the legend, says Fire Emblem for Switch. Do you think it'll have full 3D models instead of sprites in the tactical view mode? Oh, it's gonna have full 3D models. It might have sprites, but if they do have sprites, it's going to be a very clean HD looking sprites. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's going to be like, I think it's going to be more like Fire Emblem on the, Fire Emblem on the GameCube or something like that. I think they're going to go take more of that route. I don't think, I don't think they're going to use sprites at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to use sprites at all. What's the question? OJ, what, what are you talking about? What's the question? What question? Uh, do you want COD on the Switch? Yeah, I want it, but I don't care. Have you ever played the main in in Inazuma Eleven games? Yes, I played one. I think on the 3DS or DS, but I just played it for a little bit. I didn't play anything. It wasn't big or anything like that. I think somebody opened my door. Oh, no. Nobody opened my door. I thought someone opened my door. Thick boys rule. Kind of sucks. I'm calling. Um, it kind of sucks that I'm calling you, Master. <laughs> this is his name. Relaxing. Just call him Aqua. Aqua Master, Master Aqua. Okay, Beast. All right, so I think at this point, <laughs> this man Beast, he he needs to he needs to go he he needs to be like the X Men in, in Marvel versus Capcom Infinite and be out. <laughs> he needs to be like the X Men and be out, man. I think you've you've had enough chances. Sorry, man. <laughs> Where's my Inazuma Eleven boys at? Uh, let's see here. Do you think Do you think Sega should bring the Yak uh, Yakuza series to the Switch? Uh, yes, I do. Um, Dev Ketchum says, 
Um, Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite uh, needs to come to the Switch to game the hardcore fighting game community. It doesn't need to come to the Switch. It can come if it wants to, but it doesn't need to. Xbox is the best box, absolutely. KH3 DLC. What now for Capcom, OJ? Uh, they need to reevaluate who wants their games because it's not looking good. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. My daughter is making noise in the background. Give me one second, guys. So, on a bit. My family's. <laughs> I've already drank all my. My energy's getting low. Don't worry, I'll do my jutsu. My family's getting impatient. My fiance and my daughter, they're like, yeah, come on here, do some stuff. They're all complaining out there, so I'll probably end it in the next five minutes. We're been going for about an hour or two hours, two hours and a half, hour and a half, two hours and a half. <laughs> Prediction: Monster Hunter World sales, uh, right around their estimate, one point five to two million. Um. OJ, do you speak any other languages? Uh, no, not really. No, a little bit of Spanish, no, a little bit of Japanese. No, a little bit, but nothing really. Just really speak English. Any other questions, guys? Um, if not, we're definitely going to end it right there. We're going to end it, but um, you guys have any other questions for me? Before we get into the last topic here that we're going to discuss. What is your signature jutsu? Fireball. no jutsu. That's my signature. Well, when did you play football? I played football, Markel Hawthorne. I played football pretty much ever since I was a little boy. I played flag football. And then I played, I started, I moved to, I moved to tackle football when I, when I was 12, seventh grade. And then I played tackle football all the way throughout college and a little bit after college, semi-pro, professional. So yeah, I played all the way to about 2011. And then I stopped playing. So I really from... 19, played junior college, played college. So really from 1990, like 1999, yeah, about 1999 to 2011. Does Warriors look bad in 60 frames per second? Just read this on Twitter. Actually, I was watching a video of 60 frames per second Warriors. It doesn't look bad. It just looks a little bit more basic. My last question is switch your bathroom machine um, back back when I was playing um, Graceful explosion machine it was I, I used to always I, I beat that whole game just on the in the bathroom in the to on the toilet the whole time Like I would just play it for like a minute or a minute or two at, at a time every time I went and I beat the game <laughs> Go home and be a family man <laughs> I mean it OJ I will I will I'm gonna answer some of you guys last questions here do you think Fire Emblem will be too repetitive? No, because every Fire Emblem is amazing. Man, you guys are funny. You guys are you guys are a rap man. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and end it right there. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone that came out to the chat, man. We had over a hundred viewers pretty much the whole time. At one point, I think we hit 150. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, guys. A couple things to check out. Look for. <laughs> Yo, just wait for Smash Brothers. Okay, wait for Smash Brothers. Um, 
make sure you check out look out for some videos today i already dropped three videos one of them was a re-upload because of stupid copyright strike um I'll, I'll answer one more question here from Master Aqua. OJ, will you make a YouTube video crying and begging to Bandai Namco about getting games on the Switch? I'll retweet it. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I will make that video just for you, Master Aqua. Oh, no, it's ending. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and end it right here. Um, but I'll have another live stream later, guys. And we're probably going to do another. Uh, we're going to do a Player Essence podcast. With, uh, if I can get Coloco and McKay Casanova, maybe one of you guys from the community as well. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, probably get, we'll probably do something. We'll probably just do McKay Casanova and us for right now and then uh coloco if i can get them but yeah we'll do another podcast uh, probably tomorrow and then we'll have a live stream tonight if i can if not then we'll have two videos so i'll promise you either a live stream or two videos or both so so yeah look forward to that guys um thank you to the new sponsors guys the sponsors really help out the channel um so consider maybe if you can't sponsor now maybe consider it um in the future because it really helps push content on the channel as far as live streams go so shout outs to mark bryant maximus Mansteel. And Jason Level plus uh, Rigiberto or Romero, also for the $2 donation as well. You guys are all awesome. Everyone who came to the chat, all of you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, please check out my videos. Um, it really helps when you watch them all the way through. Also, Adblock too. That's another thing, guys. Take off Adblock if you're using it just for my channel. I don't care if you Adblock somebody else's channel. But for my channel, take off Adblock because then you're supporting, you're helping support me. So thank you guys so much. I do appreciate that. And we'll have more videos for you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you, Ninja, in the next video. Peace.